do uh, robot rules. If you do make any changes to your robots, make sure you get inspected or re-inspected. Um, like for like items is not what we're talking about here. We're talking about making wholesale changes to a robot or mechanism. If you're changing drive wheels, if you're changing uh, a part of your arm, make sure you get
on to more than 6,000 teams. Do I have any rookie teams in here right now? Raise your hands. Any other rookie teams? I talked to a bunch of you. There's more than one. They're not in here. Let's hear it for our rookie teams. This is a really difficult year to be a rookie team. So congratulations and thank you so much for being here. It's a really big deal that you're here. You are continuing the movement of teams and individuals who are going to impact the first movement. Um, all of you are helping make this program possible for the next generation of, of innovators. So thank you all for being here and participating. I would also like to introduce the other person you'll be hearing today. This is Jennifer Yang, and she's gonna be uh, sharing the microphone with me today. All right, hello everybody. So, thank you. So each year, First Tech Challenge creates a new and exciting game for teams to learn and com compete in. As you probably all know, this year's season first is First Game Changers powered by Star Wars. Teams around the world are exploring and exploring the evolution of our sports and activities that makes us physically and mentally strong. This year, teams are working to redefine the game and revolutionize the way we play and move. In this year's game, the 20 to 2020 to 2021 game, Ultimate Goal, presented by Qualcomm, the first Tech Challenge participants will become teammates at the top of their game, competing in thrilling sport to score, to win, and to leave a legacy that lasts. Let's take a look at this year's season challenge. A team consists of up to two driver operators, a coach, a human player, and a robot. The robot must be built from materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing tool, but may expand after the match begins. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Each alliance is allowed only one human player. Your opponents for one match may be your partners for another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. Five unique navigation images are located around the field perimeter. At one end are two tower goals, each containing three alliance-specific goals with return routes. Between the two tower goals are three red and three blue power shot targets. There are two red and two blue taped start lines, and three red and three blue target zone goals. And a white launch line divides the field. Outside of the field walls are the two alliance stations and two human player stations. The primary game element is a ring, approximately five inches in diameter, and three quarters of an inch thick. A match is played with 20 rings. There are two red and two blue wobble goals. These can have rings scored onto them and can be moved for additional scoring. Before each match, teams place their robots on the field, touching the front wall and over one of their alliance's starting lines. Each robot must be touching or be in possession of a wobble goal. A robot may possess or touch up to three rings. After the robots are in position, field personnel will randomize the starter stacks into one of three configurations. This determines which target zone goal is active in the autonomous period. Zero, one, or four rings correspond to target zone goals A, B, or C, respectively. Unused rings are stored in the human player stations to be deployed to the field at the start of the driver controlled period. The players and field are ready. Each match begins with a 30 second autonomous period. During this period, there are a number of ways for teams to score using only pre-programmed instructions and sensor inputs. Delivering a wobble goal to the correct target zone earns the Alliance 15 points. A robot parked over the launch line earns five points. Each ring launched or placed into the low goal earns three points. 
a ring launched into the mid goal earns 6 points, and launching into the high goal earns 12 points. Robots earn 15 points for each power shot target knocked down. Robots must be completely within the launch zone to launch rings into the mid goal, high goal, or power shot targets. Following the autonomous period is the two minute driver controlled period. During the driver controlled period, human players are expected to return rings to the playing field as well as reset power shot targets. Each ring launched or placed into the low goal earns two points. A ring launched into the mid goal earns four points. However, rings launched into the opposing alliance's goal earn points for their alliance. A ring launched into the high goal earns six points. The last 30 seconds of the driver controlled period is the end game. During this time, robots may continue scoring rings, but there are also ways to earn bonus points. Each knocked down power shot target earns 15 points. Returning a wobble goal to the start line earns 5 points. Each ring fully supported by the wobble goal earns 5 points. If a robot lifts a wobble goal over the front wall into the drop zone, its alliance earns 20 points. There are many ways to score an ultimate goal, but there are also rules that if not followed will deduct points from your alliance. For example, a robot may not block another for an extended period. A robot may not possess more than three rings at a time. A robot may not launch rings over the side or front perimeter walls. A robot may not intentionally tip another robot at any time. This has been a brief summary of the Ultimate Goal game. For complete rule, please read the entire game manual and check the Q&A forum. For more information on our remote season, including gameplay and field requirements, please make sure to visit our game and season webpage for the full library of remote event documentation. And always remember the most important rule of First Tech Challenge, gracious professionalism. Good luck, teams, and have a great season. Go. There is the game that you guys tackled this year. And that's the season. You started your season out by uh, meeting this challenge. Each of the 24 teams that you see here now today started out your season with a series of five league meets. Um, each of you divided into your uh, specific leagues, and you did this completely virtually, basically playing solo, um, sending in your scores, trying to get the highest score to be ranked in your league. Then once play was um, able to be in person, we moved on to in-person league championships, one specific for each league. And now um, judging is still virtual, but we are able to be here in person. The teams who advanced from the league tournaments to today's state championship represent those who excelled in both judged awards and robot game performance through the semester and the year. Today is where all of the hard work that you've put into meeting that challenge uh, finally comes to fruition and you can finally play together on a field in thrilling competition. So congratulations. Every First Tech Challenge student team member Coach, mentor, teacher, and parent deserves a huge round of applause for all of the challenges that you faced this year. So thank you. So as you all have been tackling the challenge this year, STEM skills have never been more important. And just know these STEM skills that you learn through the FIRST program, go on helping you into the real world as you solve the issues the world is facing right now as the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. Uh, of tomorrow. If college is your next step, FIRST partners with 200 colleges and universities who want FIRST participants and alumni and have made nearly $80 million in scholarships. Regardless of education level, FIRST partners with industry to ensure internships and ultimately job opportunities. 
you have access to the most valuable resources, which is each other. So make use of that as you are here today. Please welcome Pleasure to be here. Uh, in my opinion and a couple others' opinions, Crawfordsville is the best place in the state to play robots. And so we're so excited to welcome um, the principal of Crawfordsville High School, our host for today's competition. Uh, Mr. Greg Hunt has welcomed FTC into this house for 10 years. This is always, always exciting to welcome you to our school. I agree, I think Crawfordsville is the best place to have this competition because we enjoy having you so much. I am so proud of you guys because I realize how much time this takes. I mean, I, I realize how much time you have put into this and it's amazing. So good luck, uh, best of luck with your wins today. So have a great day, but it is sure, ha I'm happy to have you here again in our school. Have a good one. All right, uh, thank you, Mr. Hunt. Okay, so at this time, I'd like to introduce a very special guest from our Indiana State Championship presenting sponsor, Army ROTC. Let's please give a welcome to Mr. Paul Heslin. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing, fired up? Oh, all right, let's get excited. As uh, Jennifer said, my name is Paul Heslin. I'm the Recruiting and Operations Officer for the Purdue Army RTC program. It's my distinct pleasure to be here today, especially since this marks the first time I've had the opportunity to do an in-person event such as this. Saying that this has been an interesting and challenging year is definitely an understatement. But with that in mind, I applaud all of you for your perseverance, dedication, and hard work to get to this competition. Give yourselves a round of applause. Cool. In my role with Army RTC, I've had the opportunity to become familiar with programs such as FIRST Robotics. And the more I learn, the more I realize that there's a tremendous connection between the leadership skills that are developed in FIRST and those that are developed within Army RTC. In order to be successful in both programs, you have to be a reliable teammate who's willing to take on a variety of leadership roles when called upon. Just as importantly, you have to be a good follower someone who can follow the direction and guidance of their leaders, and someone who believes in the core values of their organization. With this in mind, I'd like to briefly explore th these connections. And uh, I truly will be brief. I, hope I got three pages here, but I'll t I talk fast. As you know, uh, your, first core, your first core value is discovery. First students gain new STEM skills and soft skills through their program, from coding with, to CAD, from communication to time management. Army ROTC cadets gain new communication and problem solving skills through discovery during hands-on training experiences where they develop basic soldier skills such as map reading, land navigation, and conducting tactical maneuvers. Your next core value, as you all know, is innovation, where first students brainstorm new designs and persist in iterations to make their designs even better. The Army RTC cadets innovate by learning from everything they do and observe, evaluating what went right and what went wrong with the mission, and then implementing the changes to improve whatever task they are executing. The next core value is impact, whereby first teams find problems within their community and work to create inventions to solve these problems. Army RTC cadets make an impact within their community by working with veteran organizations helping to hand out goods and services to homeless veterans by sim or by simply recognizing and thanking the veterans in our community dur during various events throughout the year. Inclusion is an important value, especially these days. First students respect each other and embrace their differences. Army RTC cadets also respect each other as well as the greater community. They also embrace the differences between everyone knowing that we all have different skills that can help accomplish the mission. Teamwork is a critical core value that you must embrace because you've learned that you are stronger when you work as a team. 
The Army ROTC cadets also embrace this value, understanding that if you don't work together, the job will be harder and that no one individual can succeed on their own. You succeed or fail as a team. And the final core value is fun. That's what we're all here to do, right? Have fun. First students find joy in the building and competition process and celebrate the achievements of the teams and individuals. With Army ROTC, our cadets have fun conducting tough and engaging training, developing long-lasting friendships through a variety of experiences such as field tactical training and air airborne school where they get, out, get to uh, jump out of a perfectly good airplane. As you can see, there are many similarities between the two programs, and your experience with first as a first student could go a long way with helping you be successful as you decide, or if you decide, to become an Army ROTC student in the future, by which there are many thousands of dollars of scholarships that are available to individuals such as yourself. And Army ROTC, or I should say Purdue, is one of over a thousand schools that has Army ROTC available at it. And obviously, Purdue being a huge STEM school, you guys are definitely our target audience. I want to congratulate all the students on your achievements over the, this most challenging of years. You have displayed tremendous resilience and perseverance in continuing your participation in this program. The leadership skills that you've displayed is admirable and proves that you have what it takes to be a successful Army ROTC cadet. I look forward to getting to know each of you, uh, each of the teams, as we, uh, over the course of the day, we'll be evaluating you as we, spot, we have sponsored a uh, leadership uh, award. And uh, we'll try to determine the recipient of this uh, 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 prestigious award. Wish the best of, all luck, best of luck to all of you. Congratulations again on your achievements. And I hope to see some of you in Army RTC in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paul Heslin. There are a few other people that we also would like to thank. There are a lot of people that without whom this, uh, this whole competition just wouldn't be possible. Um, we're gonna start off with our sponsor, our main event sponsor. We actually have a few representatives here from uh, the ROTC here today. So if you get a chance, just stop by and talk to them. They're here to talk to you guys. They're here to make connections. So let's hear a huge thank you to our Indiana State Championship presenting sponsor, Army ROTC. All right, to first Indiana Robotics Program sponsors, Aconic Lafayette, Toyota, Cummins, Corteva. Thank you for generously expanding your team support grants, thus reducing team registration fees during these pandemic times. And last but not least, to our very own Andy Mark for their in-kind donation of transporting the equipment necessary to competitions from location to location. Big thanks. And finally, I'd like to introduce you to our referees. Our refs has the difficult job of ensuring everyone is playing by the rules. As in all sports, their rulings are final and there will be no reruns or video replays. Please help us stick to the schedule by respecting your decisions and following the appropriate challenge process. Thank you so much, referees. Now, to all of our volunteers here today, thank you. Many of you have also mentored teams from one of our other first progression of programs, whether it be First Lego League Junior, First Lego League, and the first robotics competition, and maybe even for first alumni yourselves. On behalf of all of FIRST, big thank you to all of our volunteers. Last, but certain not, certainly not least, would like to recognize our mentors, coaches, parents, aunts and uncles, and to all the FIRST fans who are critical to our students' learning experience and success. On behalf of all the FIRST, a big thank you, as you are all really champions of the game.
All right, so now here's a general schedule for the day. We're gonna start qualifying matches immediately after we finish this ceremony. That's why our teams are queued up right here. Um, then we'll be stopping for lunch briefly, going back to qualifying matches afterwards, and then in the afternoon, we'll be having our um, final, final alliance selections, which will be followed by the um, elimination matches for the finals. And then we'll be wrapping up the day with an award ceremony. Now here's a bit of a reminder for our teams that this might be your first in-person actual competition. Typically there are judges that walk around in the pits. Today there will be judges in the pits. I know that you've already gone through the virtual judging process, but because there is an in-person judged award sponsored by our sponsor for today, make sure that you have people in your pits who are there to talk to any judges that are gonna come through. They really wanna hear from you. And if you're not in your pits and they can't find you, they won't be able to consider you for the award or even just make connections. Um, other than that, if through the day you can't hear me or understand me, I have a mask and I talk really fast. So come down and tell me, please. Um, bring me pins and yeah, we're gonna have a great day. Let's start off by singing the national anthem. Teams, are you ready for the ultimate goal? Let me hear you. All right, as we start today's uh, qualification, mount, uh, qualification rounds, I'm just gonna say good luck to all, of, all the teams here today. Now let's meet the teams as we head into the first qualification round. Here on Red Alliance, we have 3537 37 Mech Hamsters. Mecca Hamsters. Okay. And their alliance partner, 8711, the gas attendants. Now on the opposing blue alliance, we have 13401 Robo Ducks. And their alliance partner. 11272 Genesis. All right, as the team set up, we'll get ready for qualification match one very soon.
All right, teams, we are ready to start our first qualification match. We'll begin the game in three, two, one, go. All right, as we start autonomous period, we see here on Blue Alliance, Genesis shooting their rings into the high goal, as well as the Mecha Hamster shooting rings at their high goal. We have Genesis placing a wobble goal in the first box, as well as their opposing alliance there, 87-11, I believe. Looks like all the team... Driver, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that's the beginning of driver control period. Here we have the 35, 37 picking up rings. And Genesis shooting all three of their rings that they've loaded into the high goal. Eighty-seven, eleven, shooting their rings into the high goal, as well as thirteen, four, oh, one, aiming, lining up to shoot their rings. On Red Alliance, thirty-five, thirty-seven, is picking up rings with their opponent, the Robo Ducks, shooting rings into the goal. Thirty-five, thirty-seven. once more, shooting rings into the high goal, scoring points for the Red Alliance. Genesis, shooting rings into the high goal for Blue Alliance, and we have less than a minute left of the game, guys. On Red Alliance, Mecha Hamster picking up rings, shooting rings with their Alliance partner, 8711, also loading rings and ready to shoot. Picking up a wobble goal as well as their alliance partner making their way over to the wall and two wobble goals over the wall. Red Alliance knocks down all three power. Eight is seven eleven is making its way to a wobble goal, picking it up and coming over to its way to the wall as well as their alliance partner. And that is the conclusion of qualification match number one.
All right, teams, we have results for qualification match number one. Blue Alliance with a score of 134 to 130. All right, as we head into the next match, on Red Alliance, we have 14400 Space Cadets. And their alliance partner, 16501 Squirrel. Here on Blue Alliance, we have 8578 Juden Key. And their alliance partner, 12835 Pixelated. And we'll begin our match shortly. All right, and we're ready for qualification match number two. Let's begin our game in three, two, one, go. All right, as we start autonomous period, we have pixelated shooting all three of their rings into the high goal. With their alliance partner, Red, having shot some rings, earning points for the Red Alliance as well as placing their wobble goal into zone B. Looks like blue lines have already done that and they have picked up their rings to shoot more points. Driver, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. That wraps up autonomous period. As we enter the driver autonomous zone, we see all four robots moving around to make their way to pick up rings as they enter the field. We have Squirrel aiming to shoot their rings towards the mid goal, as well as picking up the rings with pixelated shooting rings into the high goal. Looks like all the robots are on one side of the field, getting a little crowded. Squirrel shooting rings into the middle goal on the blue side of the field, scoring points for Red Alliance with their opponent pixelated, shooting rings into the high goal. Pixelated, shooting all three of their rings into the high goal. With space cadets shooting their rings as well. Looks like 85-78. And that's end game. As they make their way over to the wall, drops a wobble goal as well as the space cadets earning points for the Red Alliance. Juden Key pick, picking up a wobble goal with Space Cadets already placing their second wobble goal over the wall. Power shots being shot, five seconds left. Blue Alliance, another wobble goal. Oops, qualification match number two. And you can talk to all about what's
Let's go ahead and meet the teams for qualification match number three. Over here on the Red Alliance, we have team 535, five, Tobor. Woo! And with them, we have 11329, Ice Robotics. On the Blue Alliance, 9864, Jug Rocks Robotics. And their partners, say it with me, 12043. Thank you. I also have a quick announcement from our queuing volunteers in the pits. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of a holdup over by the stairs because all of the teams have to take their carts down the elevator. So we're trying to queue teams a little bit earlier than we might be used to. Please, 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 if a volunteer comes to your pits and asks you to queue, we don't mean in five minutes, we don't mean in one minute, we mean like right now. Um, we want to make sure that we're running through so we can get you in and out of here as fast as possible today and have a great day. So if you're told to queue, please queue. Thank you. And we have qualification match number two's results. Blue Alliance with a score of 217 to 145. Are we ready for qualification match three? 
Everything appears to be randomized, and we're just waiting for the go-ahead from the refs. I see two thumbs up. That means we're ready to go. Let's start this match in three, two, one, go. Little reminder for those of us who are new to this game, as I also am, the stack of four rings that started on the field means that the teams are aiming to score their wobble goals in the far goal on that far side. So both of the Blue Alliance teams made it into that goal it means they read the stack correctly and they made it in a score. Five seconds left in autonomous period. We have a team parking and a couple that appear to be stuck together. Let's see if they can pull it out. Driver, pick up your controllers. Tell you three, three, two, two, one, go. And the teams have gotten back out and they're collecting. Let's see how they do. Great shot, Blue Alliance. The funny thing about these rings is when you put them back in, they tend to roll. They're a little bit like stiff donuts, which means they go to the far side of the field, which is a little bit more inconvenient for teams to pick up. Looks like there's a little bit of defense going on up here. Red Alliance is collecting their rings and shooting them in the low goal. And they're into the high, as, as the Blue Alliance, who got a lot of competition on both sides. If you haven't noticed already, I'm sure you have, but if you're looking for the score, we have live scoring up on the big screen so you can watch how both teams are doing as it's happening. A few more shots from the Blue Alliance. Good job, Jug Rocks Robotics. Over here, Ice Robotics is also picking up and getting ready to score in the high goal again. They're holding a wobble goal, getting ready to score for endgame, which will happen in 10 seconds. And here's endgame. The human players have reset those power shots. And we have one red wobble goal outside scored for endgame. Let's see if the blue can make it too. Power Surge is shooting for those power shots. Let's see if I can get that last one. We have one more red wobble goal out, and here comes the blue one. Can they make it out before? We should match three. Good job, all of our teams. All right, while we're waiting for the scores for match three, let's meet our teams for match number four. On the Red Alliance, we have 12014, the Firewires. And their partners, 4366, Westside Gold. And over here on the Blue Alliance, you told me how to say this, and I wrote it down, and I think it's 14596. Sure. Uh, <laughs> accelerate. There you go, thank you. And with them, 11959, Colonel Panic. Let's hear it for all of our teams. Let's check out our scores for match three. And it goes to the Blue Alliance with a score of 283 points. Good job, everyone. Let's see those thumbs up, Red Alliance. Blue Alliance ready? I already did them. Yes. We're gonna randomize the field and we'll get started in just a second.
Here there are no rings, which means the target is going to be the close, the closest square to you guys. All right, I'm getting the thumbs up, which means we're going to start this match in three, two, one, go. <laughs> I've got one blue robot trying to score that wobble goal. I've got one robot scoring the wobble goal. Couple rings shot in that high goal. That's fantastic. Overall, autonomous period is always very interesting to see how the robots interact with each other as they've been programmed to run individually. Looks like the red alert didn't Driver, work. pick up your controllers. During tele Three. Two, one. Human players are putting those rings back into the field for the Red Alliance so they can score them again. And the Blue Alliance is holding on to their wobble goal so they can score it during end game. One four five nine six has this interesting round uh, feeding system on the top of their robot. It looks like it sucks them up in there and it s slingshots the rings around to fire them. Very interesting design. And over here we have uh, forty three sixty six West Side Gold that has a lift on their robot, seemingly to score as well. It also appears that 4366 is using a reverse chopsticks approach to pick up those rings, which is very interesting. Here's the blue alliance getting ready to fire again, as is the red. Let's see. And they made it in. Good shots, guys. Just 10 seconds to end game. Teams are going to be looking to score differently, placing those wobble goals outside, like the Blue Alliance just did. Hitting those power shots, which are additional goals that are a little bit harder to hit since they're very skinny. There we go. The Blue Alliance and the Red Alliance have both hit their power shots. There's another one for Red Alliance. Five seconds left in the match. Let's finish strong, teams. In match number four. Good job, guys. And the scores for match four in. Let's see who it was. Congratulations to the Blue Alliance. A win by a single point. What a great match. Good job, everyone. I'm going to hand it back to Jennifer to introduce you to the teams for match number five. All right, teams, for match number five. Let's see. On Red Alliance, we have 1817. Seven for machines. And their alliance, one, two, seven, seven, zero, need more zip ties. Here on the blue alliance, we just saw their sister team. We have 6518 West Side Black. Now, their alliance partner. 8149, panic in the disc room? No. Build room.
We're here, we'll start match shortly once both teams are ready. And I see the thumbs up. Looks like we're ready for our qualification match number five. We'll begin game in three, two, one, go! As we start the autonomous period, we see all of the robots coming off the line, making their way to the line, shooting rings, and placing their wobble goal into the respective zone. Red team shooting a power shot. Both teams have made several rings into their goals. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And that's the start of the driver control period. Here we have both teams picking up rings that are entering the field by the human player. We have Red Alliance shooting their rings into the high goal. Eighty-one forty-nine picking up rings. With sixty-five eighteen looking like it's picking up rings. Looks like they're also doing some defense on uh, need more zip ties. Eight one eight one eight one seven four picking up the rings. Looks like Red Alliance shooting more rings into the high goal. With blue lines shooting rings into their mid goal on the red side of the field. Picking up some rings. Looks like there's a bit of traffic jam happening here on the red side of the field. 
8149 picking up a wobble goal with the sound of the end with the start of end game starting. We have 18174 already on it with a wobble goal over the wall as well as Blue Alliance placing a wobble goal. Blue Alliance gets another wobble goal and A really close one. Good job to both of the teams here. All right, as we wait for the results of this match, we'll go on to introduce the teams for the next match. All right, for qualification match number six on Red Alliance from Penn High School, we, oh, from Mishawaka, Indiana, we have the Bermuda Bots, 12091. Let's hear it. And their alliance partner, 18281, caution. On the opposing alliance, we have 18685. First tech challenge? No, the second tech challenge. And their alliance partner, 8791, Green Machine. Oh, hello? Okay. Looks like we have a result for qualification match number five. Red Alliance taking it home with a score of 227. All right, and we're ready for qualification match number six. We'll begin game in three, two, one, go. Here we see Caution making its way to place a wobble goal. Shooting rings. Blue Alliance already placing down a wobble goal into the respective zone and looks like Bermuda is shoot, shooting rings for power shot. One major penalty, you guys are across the white line and launched and scored in the high goal. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, entering the teleop period. We have all the robots going to pick up the rings. Human players are distributing, loading rings into the field. We have 8791 shooting the rings that they had picked up, as well as caution, 18281 shooting their rings into their goal. Looks like Bermuda Bots is scoring their rings on the blue side of the field over here. 
We have more bots shooting rings into the goal on the blue side here of the field. Caution, shooting their rings by themselves on the red side of the field. With 87-91 shooting all of their rings that they picked up into the high goal of the blue alliance. With their opponent Bermuda bots shooting their, all of their rings into the mid goal. That's the bell of end game. We have both, uh, ro both robots from both alliances picking up wobble goals and placing them over the wall. Two for red, one for blue. Looks like green machine is picking up more rings and heading their way to shoot. Both teams shooting rings at the power shot. Five seconds left. <laughs> And that is the end of qualification match number six. Another amazing round. Good job, teams. All right, and we have the results of qualification match number six. Red Alliance with a score of 185 to 103. Congratulations to both teams. That was match six. Let's meet the teams for match seven. Over here on the Red Alliance, we have 8578 Jude and Key Robotics from Columbus, Indiana. With them, also on the Red Alliance, from Granger, Indiana, 14596, Accelerate. There you go, that's the cheering I wanna hear. Facing them on the Blue Alliance, a really cool team. <laughs> 11329, Ice Robotics. Also on the Blue Alliance, team 8711, The Gas Attendants from Elkar, Indiana. Let's give it up for our teams. It's gonna be an exciting match. I have yet to figure out where I'm gonna stand. I thought for sure they were gonna make you stand like in the same place all day. And I was about to say, that's not gonna happen. I'm incapable. Red's ready. Oh, red's not ready. Here we're gonna randomize. Looks like it's the far, so we don't have to change anything. I've got a thumbs up, so let's start match number seven in three, two, one, go. <laughs> There they are. I was afraid no one was going to move. That would have been really unfortunate. Here we have a wobble goal scored in the far, in the correct area. 
Ice Robotics is launching those rings into the high goal. They picked up all four of those rings and scored them all. That's fantastic. Red Alliance is also scoring. Good job to accelerate. The Driver, pick up your controller. Three, two, one. Student Key Robotics getting the start out, pushing that wobble goal out of the way so they can go score some rings. I have been informed by Juden Key Robotics that their robot is lovingly and affectionately titled the Onion Ring Factory because the little rings look like onion rings. And if that's not my favorite thing, I don't know what is. And it looks like they are a factory picking up those rings and getting ready to launch them. Ice Robotics also quickly spewing those rings out into their top goal. There goes Accelerate. They're making it into the top as well. The rings are flying as we have 30 seconds left in the pre-end game teleop period before teams will start to go and look for other ways to score points. Eighty-seven eleven. the gas attendants over here have a little hand-shaped arm that they're carrying the wobble goal around on. That way it stays out of the way while they're scoring, but they're able to quickly have access to it once the time comes. Five seconds left to end game. Let's shoot a few more rings before it's time to wrap up the round. Cannon, that sounds end game. I'm seeing one and two wobble goals on the blue alliance outside scored in the correct area. Is the Red Alliance going to go for it also? Red Alliance is shooting for those power shots. Can they make it? Ice Robotics has two of the power shots. Looks like they're going to go for a third. Let's hear it for match number seven. Your scores from match number seven. Let's see what they are. Blue Alliance takes it with a score of 297. That is a high score for today. Good job. Let's come over to the other field to meet our teams for match number eight. On the Red Alliance, we have from Griffith, Indiana, 12770, need more zip ties. Let's welcome them back, team 12043. They're taking my job for me. I don't even do anything. On the Blue Alliance, it seems like we decided to put all of our rodent teams together. Am I right? Let's meet team 16501, squirrel. And team 3537, the Mecha Hamsters. I have a thumb. Does that mean we can go? 
We can go. Yay. Let's start match number eight in three, two, one, go. Once again, the wobble goal is going to the far goal. So we have one in for the Red Alliance. The Mecha Hamsters have shot and they're going to score their hot, their wobble goal as well. Lots of power shots are being made also. We got two blue wobble goals, one blue wobble goal. And end game, it's almost done. Drivers, pick up, Driver, your, controller. Pick up your controller. Three, two, one. I've already seen most of these teams run, so I'm expecting a pretty good match here. Mega Hamsters has a deep deploying intake that allows them to expand outside of the sizing cube when they're playing. They use little green squishy wheels to pick up those rings. Over here on the Blue Alliance, we've got teams that are launching those rings in faster than they can pick them up. I was talking to Power Surge earlier. They said they have a programmed system that allows them to hit a button and it automatically takes them to the place that lets them shoot perfectly into the goal that they're going for. So watch them as they're scoring. You can see they're always going to go back to the exact same place on the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance over here, picking up those rings, getting ready to launch into the high goal. Let's watch them. Get that intake. I hear all of our drivers and our coaches counting rings as, remember, they're only allowed to hold a certain number at a time. Here we've got 10 seconds left before end game. Let's see what these teams have got. Power surge, picking up a few more rings. And end game starts. <laughs> See what these teams have got. We've got some defense going on over here. Teams pushing each other out of the way so they can get to the goals faster. 16501 picking up this wobble goal. They appear to have padding on the inside of their hand that allows them to grab that goal easier. Push it over the wall. They've got it. Can they get it over? Almost. Let's see. Five seconds left. What do you got, teams? Put your controllers down. Let's hear it for match eight, everyone. All right, teams, as we wait for the results of qualification match number eight, I got a few announcements to make. So at the entrance to the pits, you would see two QR codes that you can scan. One of them is to apply for the student board of directors. Anyone uh, that is currently participating in first right now, which means current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors can apply for the student board. Um, and at they are accepting applications through next Friday the 21st. So if you want, go and apply. The second QR code is a student impact survey, which takes about five to 10 minutes. You can do it sometime today. Um, and it is for our sponsors to see, understand events and feel free to do it whenever today. Highly encourage it. Take the student impact survey. Before we start match nine, let's go ahead and see our scores from match number eight. Oh, there we go. It's the Red Alliance. Good job to the Red Alliance. Team 12770 and 12043. All right, as we concluded that match with the results, let's move on to qualification match number nine. Introducing our teams here on the Red Alliance, we have 18685, the second tech challenge from New Carlsley. And our alliance partner, 13401, the RoboDucks. Let's give it up for Red Alliance. It's, uh, it's 
New Carlisle. New Carlisle? Okay, yeah. alright. Next up on the Blue Alliance, we have 14400 coming from space, the Space Cadets. And their alliance partner, 535 Tobor. It looks like we're ready for qualification match number nine. Let's begin our game in three, two, one, go. Starting autonomous period, looks like we have robots coming off the line from both the Red Alliance and Blue Alliance with space cadets shooting rings into the goal. Looks like we have... Drivers, pick up your controllers. 
three, two, one. And that's the beginning of tele-op period. We have all of the robots moving around, scrambling to pick up rings. Looks like RoboDucks are just lining up to shoot their rings. One, two, shot in the high goal for Red Alliance with their opponent Blue Alliance shooting their rings into the mid goal from Space Cadets. We have Topor shooting a ring into the high goal and making its way to pick up more rings. Robodocs continuing to pick up rings with Space Cadets shooting rings into the mid goal on the red side of the field. Looks like Tobor is lining up and shooting their rings with their Alliance partner Space Cadets picking up rings on here on the red side of the field. Robodux shooting their rings that they picked up, aiming towards the high goal. And that is the sound of end game. Space Cadets making their way to pick up a wobble goal. Five seconds left. Space Cadets. And that concludes the round of qualification match number nine. All right, as we are waiting for the results of qualification match number nine, let's introduce our teams for qualification match number 10. Here on Red Alliance, we have West Side Black 6518. And their alliance partner, 11272 Genesis. All right, here on Blue Alliance, we have 8791. Hold on, let me find you guys on my paper. Green Machine. And their alliance partner, 11959 Colonel Panic. And we have results for qualification match number nine. Winner is Red Alliance with a win of 97. Okay, and we're ready for qualification match number 10. Let's begin game in three, two, one, go. As we begin the round, we have all of the robots moving off the line. We have Red Alliance shooting their rings into the high goal by Genesis. With Blue Alliance placing down their wobble goals, as well as shooting rings. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. That begins Talia period. We have all of our robots going after rings. Specifically, Westside Black putting up, picking up three rings with their alliance partner already loaded and ready to shoot. Here on the blue lines, we have Green Machine shooting rings into the high goal. Sixty-five eighteen shooting rings into the high goal. Blue Alliance shooting rings in both the high goal and mid goal with their opponent consistently shooting rings into the high goal for red team. With less than one minute left, let's see how our teams do. Both teams going to pick rings. Westside Black aiming to shoot. Green Machine consistently scoring. That's the bell for endgame. Let's hear what our team does. Both 6518 and 8791 placing a wobble goal over the wall with Green Machine's alliance partner. Colonel Panic shooting rings at the power shots. Green Machine places another wobble goal over the wall. And Westside Black shooting down. A and that concludes qualification match number 10. All right, teams, as we wait for both of the fields or for the, for the field to reset and for the results to come out, just a small announcement. We will be starting lunch after qualification match number 12. And now let's introduce the teams that are in qualification match number 11. Here on Red Alliance from Granger, Indiana, we have one, two, eight, three, five pixelated. And their Bermuda bot, <laughs> and their alliance partner, the Bermuda bots, 12091. On the opponent blue alliance, we have West Side Gold, 4366. And their alliance partner, 18174 Machines. And we have results for qualification match number 10. Red Alliance with a win of 227 points. And now we will begin the match of qualification number 11. Game begins in three, two, one, go! As we start autonomous period, we see all the robots moving off the line with 4366 shooting rings into the high goal for Blue Alliance, as well as Red Alliance shooting their rings, earning points. Looks like both teams have placed down their wobble goals and Red Alliance is continuously shooting rings. We have robots lined up onto the white line, ready for control period. 
Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, with the sound of the bell, we have all the teams going over to pick up their rings. We have pixelated shooting rings, earning points for the Red Alliance. With their alliance partner, Bermuda Bots, scoring rings into the mid goal here on the blue side of the field. We have machines loading rings into their robot. All the while doing a little bit of ring stealing from their opponent pixelated. Looks like 65, 18, 43, 66 is pushing their way to get lined up to score their rings on the red side of the field. With their alliance partner machines dumping their rings into the low goal. Bermuda bots shooting all three of their rings into the mid goal for red alliance. 45 seconds left. Looks like 4366 is doing continuous defense on pixelated. That's a sound of end game. Let's see. We have we have Bermuda bots and machines placing down a wobble goal over the wall, earning points with Red Alliance scoring two power shots as well as Blue Alliance scoring two power shots. Oh, wow. Looks like we have continuous defense from 4366 as they pick up rings and getting into the way of their opponent. Red Alliance is shooting shot all three of their power shots. And that concludes Qualification match number 11. Let's meet the teams for match number 12. On the Red Alliance, team 8149. Red alert, panic in the build room. We got a cheer squad up here. I like this. I wish more teams did this. This is my personal request of more teams to do this. This is great. Also on the Red Alliance, team 12014, the Firewires. Thank you, that's much better. On the Blue Alliance, Team 9864, Doug Rocks Robotics. And with them, 18281, Caution. Hello? All right, and it looks like we have the results for qualification match number 11. Winner is Red with a win of 291 to 169. Good job to both of the two teams. The field is randomized. I've got a big thumbs up. Let's see match number 12 in three, two, one, go. I nice thumb up. He's got a normal thumb, everyone. The intake on Caution's robot is loud up here. It sounds like it is running like crazy. Jug Rock's going to pick up another ring. This is all in autonomous, remember, so the robot is running by itself. Will it make it in? Yes, it did. On the Drivers, portion, pick up your controller. Three, two, one. Once again, Caution's robot 
firing up to pick up those rings. It sounds like their intake takes a little bit of time to warm up. Firewires in position to fire just behind that white line. So they're close, but they're still in the zone. They're allowed to shoot. Panic in the build room has an interesting approach. Looks like they have a conveyor belt that takes the, uh, the rings all the way from the front and the, to the front of the robot to the back on the top. Caution's robot is fast. They're zipping around the field here. Looks like they're picking up rings. They're trying to get out of the way so their partner can launch, and then they're going to go up and launch as well. That's some great teamwork. It is very interesting to see the team dynamic, as a lot of these teams have spent most of their season playing by themselves. Unless they have sister teams, it's really hard to practice with other robots. So it's really, really impressive to see these teams working together, working around each other. Here we go. The Red Alliance just launched a few more, and Firebars is picking up some rings to see what they can make before endgame. Jug Rocks going for another launch. Let's see. One, two, three. In the high goal. Endgame in five seconds. Here we have the fire wires. Hold <laughs> to take it outside. Let's see. We've got a blue wobble goal going out. And they make it in, as do the fire wires. Looks like Caution is trying to grab their other wobble goal, as is Firewires. All four, goal, all four goals are outside. Less than 10 seconds left. We got teams still launching. Three, two, one. Give it up for our teams, everyone. And that concludes our morning's matches. That was match number 12. Now it's time for my favorite part of the day, lunch. So as you are going to lunch, if you are a team that has seniors, please be advised. We'll make announcements about this um, in the pits as well. If you have seniors, we are taking a senior picture in this room at 1245. That is before lunch ends. So you will need to send those seniors back to us at 12.45, not like a little after, right at 12.45, we're gonna be meeting Meet over, here. over here by this beautiful little photo booth situation. You can oh. sit in the bleachers. You can sit in the bleachers. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I just realized. Just a small reminder, make sure everyone go take the student impact survey QR code is found outside the pit's entrance. Last thing before we go to lunch, let's check the scores for match number 12. And it goes to the Blue Alliance with a score of 279 points. Way to go, Blue Alliance.
Any seniors out there? Come on down. Hello, first Tech Challenge class of 2021. Let's hear some applause. We have got a wonderful group of students here. Many of you, I remember when you first started. You were about this short. You were biting your nails, you are nervous. Where do I go? What do I do? And look at you now. You're poised. You're confident. You're leaders. Sounds like a recipe for success to me. All of you, we want to give you our warmest, most heartfelt, Good luck and joy and happiness that we were able to be a part of your journey. Now you start a new one. Wow, how exciting is that? Doctors, engineers, biomedical, wow. The future is yours. I hope that as you go forward, you always have in your heart and take with you wherever you go a piece of us. First Tech Challenge, the program, the friends you've made. Please keep us in your hearts because you're in ours. And when we see your names in headlines, ah, I knew them when. So proud, so excited, so happy for each and every one of you. Give yourself a warm round of applause and shout out success. Audience, let's hear it for our seniors. So, uh, do you want me to say anything? You can call the names. Oh. We have a little something for you, and then we're going to take your five people. So, as Bethany calls your name, please come down and receive a little something. Your gift is cooler than the year I got a gift. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, from team 535 Tobor, Emily, Oscar, Evie, and Gwen. From Team 8791, Green Machine, Sophia. Oh, that makes sense. From Team 9864, Doug Rocks Robotics, Colton, Shyla, Mallory, Zane, and Alan, and Noah, who is not with us today. From team 11272, Genesis, Matthew, Susan, Alyssa, and Dill. From team 1201-4, Firewires, Jade, Nathan, and Bryant, Brendan.
From team 11329, Ice Robotics, Emerson. From team 12043, Power Surge, DJ, David, and Josie. From team 12835, Pixelated, Joseph. Let's give it up for our last two seniors, Jerry and CJ from Space Cadets, team 14400. Let's hear one more big round of applause for our class of 2021.
Welcome back from lunch, everyone. This isn't everyone, but we're gonna pretend like it is. Let's get ready for match number 13. Let's meet our teams to carry on the qualification matches. Here on the Red Alliance, we have team 8791, Green Machine. And their partners, 14596, Accelerate. On the Blue Alliance, we have our host team, 535 Tobor. They're setting up right now. And playing with Tobor, we have 12770, Need More Zip Ties. The field is randomized and we're ready to get started for another match. Once we get thumbs up from both teams, we can go. I'm seeing thumbs from the red, thumbs from the blue. Let's get this match started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Team 535 Tobor has scored their wobble goal. And it looks like their partners are on the way to do the same thing. Lots of rings making it into the goal in the, for the Red Alliance. Looks like the teams are all done with their autonomous programs. And they're ready to move on to the... Driver, well, pick up your controllers. Team Three, two, one. Partners are planning on doing during matches, otherwise they might run into each other or otherwise mess up each other's strategies. And it's really important to work together. Here we have the Blue Alliance just launched some rings and they're getting ready to pick up some more. As is the Red Alliance. Looks like one of our teams is stuck. Let's hope their partners are able to play hard and keep up those points. Team 
Team 12770, really fast on the field. They really zip around, pick up those rings, and score them immediately. Their human player is quickly feeding those rings back into them. It looks like they have a strategy set up where the human player feeds it to the robot right when the robot is right there so they can pick it right up. That's a pretty, pretty prominent strategy. Ten seconds to end game. Looks like teams are getting ready. They're getting set up. Grabbing those wobble goals. Getting ready to shoot those power shots. Here we have the goals going out. One for red, one for blue. Looks like the blue alliance is going to get their second one, as is the red alliance, and they're still launching. Here we have an unfortunate case of a robot getting stuck in an unfortunate place. But the teams are still playing well for a solid... Let's hear it for our teams. Alrighty, as we wait for the results of the previous match, let's introduce our teams for qualification match number 14. On the Red Alliance, we have 11 to 72 Genesis. And our alliance partner, 18174 Machines. Here on the Blue Alliance, we have the second tech challenge Team 18685. And their alliance partner, 8578 Juden Key Robotics. Let's hear it. Let's see the scores from their last match. Congratulations to the Blue Alliance and to all the teams all the way around. That was an unfortunate situation where a robot shut down. It does not reflect the robots themselves. Really, really good to see everyone still playing strong.
All right, and we're ready for qualification match number 14. Let's begin game in three, two, one, go! As we start autonomous period, we have Genesis shooting their rings into the high goal on the Red Alliance, as well as their Alliance partner already ready on the red line for Teleop period. We have five seconds less left of um what period is this? Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, we have robots picking up rings from all over the field. Genesis lining up and shooting their rings that they have loaded. We have 18174 picking up rings with their design of a conveyor and dumping their rings into the low goal earning points for the Red Alliance. We have 8578 shooting their rings. One eight one seven four picking up more rings and dumping them all at once into the low goal. Genesis picking up more rings. We have 8578 shooting rings into the mid goal with the bell of end period. We have 18174 making its way to the wall and placing a wobble goal over the wall with their opponent 8578 as well, placing a wobble goal over the wall. Genesis shooting re And that is the end of qualification match number 14. And we have the results for qualification match number 14. Red Alliance with a win of 169 points. Now moving over to qualification match number 15, let's see our teams. Coming in from the blizzard, we have 11-3-29 Ice Robot Robotics. And their alliance partner, 16501 Squirrel. Here on the blue alliance, we better beware. It's caution, 18281. With their alliance partner, 4366 West Side Gold. All 
All right, with both of our teams ready to start, let's begin. In three, two, one, go. Here we see Roas from both Alliance shooting their rings as well as Ice Robotics placing down a wobble goal. Looks like Caution is also placing down a wobble goal into the respective zone. Five seconds left. Driver, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. With the start of tel the teleop period, we have human players distributing rings onto the field for robots to pick up and proceed to shoot. We have caution speeding around the field to pick up rings with their opponents, Ice Robotics, shooting rings into the high goal. We have Westside Gold picking up rings with their interesting looking arm. With squirrels scurrying their rings, we have Red Alliance and Blue Alliance shooting rings into the high goal. And Squirrel shooting rings into the high goal, earning points for Red Alliance, as well as their alliance partner, Ice Robotics. 4366 picks, pick, loading up rings with their opponent, Squirrel, shooting into the high goal. Over here on the blue side, similarly, Caution is also shooting rings into the high goal and going, proceeding to pick up more rings. Ice Robotics shooting all three of its loaded rings into the high goal. With the sound of end game, we have Caution picking up a wobble goal, with Squirrel having already picked up a wobble goal and placed over their wall, as well as shooting down a power shot. Caution makes its way over to a wall and places the wobble goal down. Ice Robotics and Caution places another wobble goal. And that concludes qualification match number 15. Good job to both of the two alliances. Let's see our scores from match number 15. Way to go, Red Alliance and Blue Alliance. Another red win. Now let's meet the teams for match number 16 on the Red Alliance team. 12091 Bermuda Bots. Love the fashion sense. I should get me a shirt like that. I think it'd be very fitting. Also on the Red Alliance, 13401, RoboDucks. Where's the quacking? Where is it? I want to hear it. On the Blue Alliance, 
Team 12043. Power Surge. And with them, Team 12014, the Firewires. Looks like we'll be heading for the close goal here, so there's no rings out to indicate that. Let's see if our teams are ready. Red is ready. Blue is ready. Let's get a countdown. Three, two, one, go. All ready, robots are moving. Looks like Bermuda bots might have read that wrong. They scored their uh, wobble goal in the middle goal, but the blue alliance made their wobble goal into the front one for both alliances. Now's the tricky part. Navigating around each other during autonomous is not easy. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. On the Blue Alliance, we have the Firewires zipping around with their little robot. Going to pick up those rings. They've got a really fast base so they can get to all of the rings very quickly. There's a lot of competition going right now. As appears, all the rings have conglomerated into one section of the field. So all of the teams are trying to get those rings all at the same time. It makes for a big traffic jam. 12043, launching with its single flywheel design. A lot of robots are using two flywheels, but Power Surge has decided to go with one as they think it's easier to control. Here we see 13401 balancing that wobble goal and getting ready to move those rings over to the goal. Just under a minute left in the match. Teams are still launching. Looks like the Firewires just made a few up into the high goal. They're shooting pretty consistently this match. Here Bermuda Bots is in the front, still slurping up those rings. And quickly moving into position. I always love watching them line in a line. We've got a blue wobble goal out. We've got a red wobble goal out. Ten seconds left in the match, and all but one power shot goals are down. Five seconds. And the Red Alliance made their last power shot. Match everyone. Let's hear a round of applause.
Let's see those scores from match number 16. And the Blue Alliance takes it with a score of 240 points. Good job to all the teams. That was a really, really solid match. And now let's meet the teams for qualifying match number 17. We're over halfway done with our qualifying matches. On the Red Alliance, team 6518, Westside Black from West Lafayette, Indiana. Also on Red Alliance, 9864, Jug Rocks Robotics. Across the way in the neon green, let's welcome 12835, Pixelated. Love hearing that team spirit. And with them, team 3537, the Mecha Hamsters. That's a very terrifying color combination, if I do say so.
I've got a thumbs up, and you know what that means. It's time to run qualifying match number 17. Let's get it started in three, two, one, go. Pixelated's robot driving out and unfolding to launch those rings up into the high goal during Autonomous. Also scoring that wobble goal just as the Red Alliance does the exact same thing. Looks like Jug Rocks Robotics would have scored that wobble goal, but their hand just couldn't hold on. Counting down those seconds left in autonomous mode. Let's see what's going to happen during Teleop. Driver, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Pixelated has extended out some little sidebars. Looks like those are used for potentially defense. I'll have to ask them about that. And the Red Alliance is also picking up those rings as fast as their human players can shoot them out. Scoring in the high goal. One, two, three clean shots. All net. Pixelated robot. Looks really clean, but actually it appears to be all wood, is what they told me ahead of time. Only a few of the parts are 3D printed. Looks real neat. <laughs> Jug Rocks Robotics making more shots in the high goal while their partner shoots on the other side in the middle goal. If you can see, the colors alternate on each side. So if you launch on the wrong side, you might score in your opponent's goal, which would score points for them. Pixelated taking a few more shots at that high goal. And we've got 10 seconds to end game. Let's see what these teams are going to do. Jug Rocks taking a few more shots. And end game starts. <laughs> We've got one Red Alliance team grabbing that wobble goal. The hardest part about it is once it falls over, it is hard to pick back up. That's a real clean score there. We've got the Blue Alliance hopping over to do the exact same thing. Score that goal. Five seconds left. Way to go, teams. That was solid. Well played. All right, as we're waiting for results for qualification match number 17, let's introduce our teams for qualification match number 18. Here on the Red Alliance, we have our two Panic teams. Colonel Panic, team 11959 and 8149. Panic in the build room. Now here on the Blue Alliance, we have from Hobart, Indiana, 14400 Space Cadets. And their alliance partner, 8711, the gas attendants. All right, and it looks like Red Alliance with a win of 265 points. Congratulations. All right, and it looks like we're ready to start qualification match 18. Game begins in three, two, one, go! 
as we begin autonomous period, we have Red Alliance. We have Blue Alliance shooting their rings and Red Alliance placing down a wobble goal in their zones. Looks like Blue Alliance also has placed down a wobble goal. And robots are ready to begin teleop period as they line up on the right line. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, as we begin the driver control period, we have all of the robots going after the rings that the human players are loading onto the field. Looks like Space Cadets shooting rings for the Blue Alliance into the mid goal. Once again, we have right, Space Cadets shooting more rings into the mid goal with their opponent 8711 gas attendants shooting rings into the high goal. Robots all across the field picking up rings and shooting rings into their goals. Eighty-seven, eleven, shooting more rings into the high goal for Blue Alliance. With Space Cadets shooting uh, goals for the R Blue Alliance into the mid goal. Five nine, picking up rings. And getting aimed with the beginning of end game, we have robots from both teams, uh, 81, 49, and 14, 400, putting wobble goals over the wall, earning points, as well as the gas attendants picking up another wobble goal for Blue Alliance, with 81, 49 already placing down a wobble goal over the wall. <laughs> And that concludes qualification match number 18. Good job to both alliances. Now let's transition over to the other field as we announce the teams that are participating in qualification match number 19. Here on Red Alliance, we have the Onion Eater, Onion Ring Factory, Team 8578 Juden Key Robotics and their alliance partner 4366 Westside Gold. Let's hear it for Red Alliance. Now on Blue Alliance, we have 12770 from Griffith, Indiana. Need more zip ties. And their alliance partner, 13401 Ducks. Did I hear a quacking? All right, and qualification match number 18, Blue Alliance with a win of 192. Congratulations.
All right, we're ready to start qualification match number 19. Let's begin game in three, two, one, go. We see robots coming off the line and placing wobble goals down from Blue Alliance. And we have Red Alliance over there shooting their rings, as well as making their way over to place a wobble goal in zone C. With 10 seconds left, we have robots all across the field parked on the right line, ready for con driver control period. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Hearing that bell, that means driver control period has started and we see human players loading rings onto the field as well as robots all across from both alliances making their ways to pick up rings as we see some robots like need more zip ties shooting their rings into the high goal as well as 8578 shooting rings earning points for the red alliance both Robo Ducks and their alliance partner Nemo's Zip Ties are on the same side of the field, aiming for the high goal. With 4366 here on the red side of the field, picking up rings and launching all three of their rings into the high goal, earning points for the Red Alliance. Their alliance partner, Juden Key Robotics. Is here on the blue side of the field taking rings. We have need more zip ties in the center of the field aiming to shoot, picking up rings. Robot reset. Need more zip ties shooting all of the blue alliance. And 4366 picking up rings and launching them for the power shots. We have Robo Ducks over there on the Blue Alliance placing a wobble goal over the wall. Need more zip ties picking up, making its way to pick up a wobble goal. Five seconds left. Let's go, teams. Red Alliance places a wobble goal over the wall. And that is the end of of qualification match number 19. Good job to both of the alliances. All right, and we have results. Blue Alliance as the winner of qualification match number 19. Okay, you want to Congratulations to the team from match number 19. Let's meet the teams for match 20. Over here on the Red Alliance in their purple attire, let's say hello to Team 18174, the Machines from Mishawaka, Indiana. Also on their team on the Red Alliance, we have 9864, Jug Rocks Robotics. And on the Blue Alliance, we have my favorite distracted team, 16501, Squirrel. And their partners, 14596, Accelerate. I've got a thumbs up and you know what that means. Count down with me. Three, two, one, go. Already teams are moving. Jug Rocks Robotics launching into that high goal. Scoring the wobble goal. 
and going back to try to grab that other wobble goal. The Blue Alliance is doing similarly. I've got two wobble goals in the correct zone. And teams are launching to finish up autonomous. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. The machines have a robot that is color coordinated to their outfits, so you can definitely tell who which is theirs. We love to see it. This rookie team is taken off by grabbing the wobble goal and moving it out of the way so they can go score those rings in the low goal. We have teams from the Blue Alliance shooting for that high goal. Let's see if they can make it. Looks like it's just barely hitting the lip and bouncing off. Maybe they can make it another time. Here go the jug rocks. Zipping around, grabbing those rings. It really is inconvenient that they roll so far. You have to chase them. Team 14596 with their round queuing system on top. Looks kind of like a pizza box, but classier. I love it. Getting some more great shots from Jug Rocks Robotics. We've got just under a minute left in this game. There's some solid shots for the Blue Alliance. It'll be interesting to see the Blue Alliances, both of their wobble goals have knocked over. If they're able to pick them up, they'll be able to score them during in-game here in 10 seconds. Jug Rock still zipping around. Looks like 16501 is And now that is end-game. Let's see if these teams change their strategies. 14596 appears to have a technique to get those goals back up by catching it on the side of their robot sighting and kind of moving to the side. So they're able to score those wobble goals on the outside. We also have a goal scored for the red. Five seconds left. Let's finish strong teams. Three, two, one. From the Red Alliance. Congratulations, everybody. Let's see those scores from match number 20. And we have a red win with 204 points. Congratulations, 18174 and 9864. Let's move over to the other field over here to meet the teams for match number 21. On the Red Alliance, we have team 11329, Ice Robotics. And their partners, the Space Cadets, Team 14400 from Hobart, Indiana. On the Blue Alliance, 12091 Bermuda Bots from Penn High School. And 11272 Genesis. No rings indicates that front goal. Let's see if our teams are ready. Red Alliance ready. Blue Alliance ready. Let's get this match started in three, two, one, go. Love that noise. A little starting. Two strong shots from the Blue Alliance. And a power shot from the blue as well. I'm seeing a wobble goal scored for each alliance as well. That means points all around. Starting with a pretty small point difference as we're going into tele-op here. 
Again, Drivers, yeah. pick up your controllers. I want to hear you guys cheer. Three, two, one. All the robots are off to a solid start. One, four, four, zero, zero, lighting up the field and launching pretty well too. Ice Robotics has a little net over their collection system to keep the rings out of the top of it. It's a pretty strong move considering if you have too many rings in your robot or one gets stuck, you can't score anymore. I'm also loving Genesis's design. The front of their robot is shaped like a semicircle so they can get rings from any direction instead of just the front. I bet that helps with corners. I'll have to watch here. There they go into the corner, picking up rings. Yeah, they just gobbled them up. That's so cool. Just a minute left. There goes the Blue Alliance launching strong shots into their goal. And team 12091 looks like they're chasing those rings. It's like they don't know which ones to pick. There's so many to choose from. Pulling them out of corners. Great job. Once they're full, they're going to line up, and here go those solid, good shots from Team 12091 Bermuda Bots. Game, 30 seconds left to score points. Looks like both of the red wobble goals tipped over outside and fell off of the mat. 20 seconds left. Let's see if the Blue Alliance can make their goals out as well. We got two power shots down for the Blue Alliance. Can they make that last one? Yes, they can. Let's hear it for our teams, everyone. We got two seconds left. Match number 21. All right, as we're waiting for the results of qualification match number 21, let's introduce our teams from qualification match number 22. Now, on the red side of the field, we have from Greenwood, Indiana, Green Machine, Along with Green, Green Machine, we have their alliance partner, 12043 Power Surge. All right, on the blue side of the field, we have 8149 Panic in the Build Room. Also looking mighty green, we have 12835 Pixelated. The score is from match 20, 21, my bad. Blue Alliance takes it with a win with 236 points. With a strong follow with the Red Alliance. Congratulations, everyone. Right, and we're ready for qualification match number 22. Let's begin our game in three, two, one, go. We have all of the robots coming off of their line with Pixelated placing a wobble goal in zone A. 
We have Red Alliance have already placed it, placed a wobble goal in zone A with their alliance partner. 8791 also placing that war their wobble goal after they've already scored their rings. We have robots from both alliance. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. As we begin the tally tele-operated period, we have all the robots going over to pick up rings that the human players are unloading onto the field. We have 8791 shooting their rings into the goal. With Power Surge shooting their rings as well as doing a little defense on Pixelated. Looks like Power Surge is giving Pixelated a little heart, a little trouble over here on the blue side of the field. Over here on the red side of the field, however, we have 8791 Green Machine shooting rings into the a high gold, earning points for the Red Alliance. We have alert in the panic, no, nope. red alert, panic in the build room, picking up rings on the blue side of the field with their alliance partner, Pixelated, also attempting to line up with heavy defense from the power surge. Green Machine at it again, shooting their rings that they have picked up. Hearing that bell, we know it's the beginning of end game. Let's see what our robots decide to do. Looks like we have Green Machine making their way to place down a red wobble goal over the wall and successfully placing it as their opponent panic in the build room 8149, picking up a wobble goal. Blue Alliance already got a wobble goal over the wall thanks to Power Pixelated. Power. And that is the end of qualification match number 22. Good job to both Red Alliance and Blue Alliance. As we're waiting for the results of qualification match number 22, let's see what qualification match number 23 has for us. Here on the Red Alliance, we have scurrying team 35-37, the Mecha Hamsters. With our alliance partner from Crawfordsville, Indiana, your host, 535-Tobor. Here on the Blue Alliance, we have their bright and orange caution. And their alliance partner, 11959, Colonel Panic.
Right after looking at the match top results. Red Alliance taking home the win of 196 to 102. All right, and we're finally ready for qualification match number 23. Let's begin game in three, two, one, go. Hearing the bell, we have autonomous period starting. We see robots from both alliances coming off of the starting line, shooting rings into the high goal, knocking power shots, as well as making their way over to place wobble goal in zone A. We see Red Alliance has two wobble goals and Blue Alliance has one while they have a, wa a power shot down. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Clearing that bell, we have entered teleoperated period. We see human player loading the field with ring. We have Caution, having picked up rings, making its way over to the back. Looks like they're trying to line up to shoot. We have 11959 having shot their power rings, power, having shot their rings, and now are picking up more rings for shooting. 535 Tobor is here on the blue side of the field. Shooting rings for the Red Alliance. Caution, shooting rings into the high goal for Blue Alliance, scoring points. With their opponents, the Mecha Hamsters, scoring rings into their high goal as well. We have 535 Tobor shooting rings, earning points for the Red Alliance. With caution, shooting rings into the high goal points for the Blue Alliance. As we hear the bell for Endgame, we have robots shooting rings for uh, at the power shot, as well as caution or over here, placing a wobble goal over the wall. We have 15 seconds left. Caution places another wobble goal over the wall. And 535 Tobor making their way over to the wall places a wobble goal over the wall. Power shots knocked down. Congratulations.
And that is that concludes qualification match number 23. And it looks like we're already getting ready over here on the second field for match number 24. Let's meet our teams. You know them all already, but we're going to introduce them just because. On the Red Alliance, we have Team 8711, the gas attendants. And this year, a rookie team, we have Team 18685, the second tech challenge. Not to be confused with the first tech challenge. And on the Blue Alliance, we have Team 6518, West Side Black. And 12014, Firewires. Match number 23, Red Alliance with a win of 174 points. Congratulations. I have a question. You guys are one of two teams from your school, Westside Black and Westside Gold. Are those your school colors? Is black and gold your school colors? So is black and gold because of Purdue? I think it sounds like Purdue colors. And I'm not biased because I'm definitely a Purdue student, but I'm very proud. They're scarlet and gray. Your school colors are scarlet. Interesting. So it does ring better West Side Gold versus like West Side Scarlet. That's fair. I like your names. Basically, what I'm saying is, boiler up. I like your names. I'm seeing teams that are ready. Blue is ready. Red is ready. Let's get started in three, two, one, go. These robots are quick. They're zipping across, launching in. Not a single ring has missed yet. Great to see it. We've got a Red Alliance Wobble goal in and a Blue Alliance goal in. Every single one of these is points that are crucial for a win for your alliance. Oh, we've got a traffic jam right in the middle. Five seconds left in Autonomous. That gives you just a few. Oh, a few more shots by Firewires. One of them. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And they're off. I'm seeing 
Rings coming back in from the human players. It's really important that the human players keep those rings coming so that the teams can score points consistently and know where those are going to be. Good, solid shots from 65-18, West Side Black. And over here, the gas attendants are picking up their wobble goal so it's out of the way. They can pick up those rings and score. Teams are pretty tight right now, but every shot is adding points to both scores. We've got solid blue alliances coming up. Nice shots from all of the teams. Looks like Firewires had something stuck in their bot for a second, but they were able to shoot it out, and now they'll be able to score some more without being impeded by that. Twenty seconds to end game. All three robots here are lined up, getting ready to shoot. Three strong shots into the top goal. That's a lot of points for the Red Alliance. An end game here in five seconds. Looks like gas attendants are already ready. The shoot, and now they're going to score. These are critical end game points. There's one out on the board and their partners are going to grab the other red wobble goal. Firewires just scored one of their blue ones. Looks like they're on their way over to grab the other one. Just over 10 seconds left and the blue alliance is shooting at those power shot goals. Each of those is 15 points. So if they can make a few more, that'll really, really give them a heads up. One more. can. They Way to go, teams. That was really close. Also, just a quick heads up. As we're nearing the end of our qualification matches, it's coming about time to be uh, gathering our representatives from each team. So for every single team here, we need one person from your team to make your way down to this back corner over by where you've been getting off the elevator while you're queuing. One representative for Alliance Selections. We will be starting almost immediately after the, the conclusion of our last match, match number 30. That gives you five and a half-ish matches to get down here. I'm not saying wait till the last minute. Please don't. Let's go over to field number one to meet our teams for match number 20-something. 25? Thank you. All right. Let's see our scores from the last match. And the Blue Alliance takes it with a win. 195 points. Now let's meet our teams for match number 25. On the Red Alliance, team 13401, the Robo Ducks. There it is. Whoever's making those duck noises, I love them. With them, their partners, team 18174, the Machines. On the Blue Alliance, from Greenwood, Indiana, 8791, Green Machine. And their partners, 11329, Ice Robotics. There's like a little dance. I love that. Everyone's ready. Let's get started. In three, two, one, go. The temptation to say, and they're off every match is just unbelievable you have no idea three solid shots from the blue alliance and a fourth getting that wobble goal goal looks like they're gonna push it in perfect well lined up looks like the red alliance scored a goal but it ended up in the wrong goal so it won't be counting for points for them driver pick up your controllers three two one Eight 
87.91, trying to let that wobble go off so their partners can take care of it later and it won't be in their way. 18174, pretty quick robot base. I've noticed this year, almost every team, maybe every team, has those mechanum wheels, which allows them to maneuver really quickly and really efficiently around the field. 11329, Ice Robotics, three shots, one after another, right into the high goal. And Robodex making a few also in that high goal. Those are all really important points for, their, for each alliance. Robodex picking it up. Looks like they have a zip tie collector that allows them to sweep those uh, little rings up. For some reason, the only word I had in my head there was donut. They look like donuts. More shots in the high goal for the Blue Alliance. Looks like they've got a pile of rings at the base of the um, human player area, which is allow uh, keeping them from rolling across the field. This could be really good or really bad, depending on their collection system. 40 seconds left. And three more shots from Ice Robotics. They are killing it with consistency out here. Right here, 18174, getting in there, moving the rings around. Ice Robotics lining up to shoot a few more times and then grab those wobble goals and get them out. We have one power shot down for the Blue Alliance, one for the Red Alliance. 10 seconds left. Can we make more? Oh, Blue Alliance gets a wobble goal out and one more power shot. Well fought, everyone. I'm going to keep making this announcement. We will make it between every match at this point. If you are a team and you have students on your team, I'm looking at you, send a representative to this back corner within the next five matches. Don't be late, please. All right, so as we conclude qualification match number 25, let's see what teams are gonna be in qualification match number 26. Here on Red Alliance, we have 9864 Jug Rocks Robotics. And their alliance partner, 11959 Colonel Panic. Let's give it up for Red Alliance. Now on the other side, Blue Alliance. Let's see, we have 8578 Jude and Key. And their alliance partner, 12091 Bermuda Bots. Let's give it up for Blue Alliance. All right, and we have also qualification match number 25. Blue Alliance taking the win with a score of one, 244 points. All right, and we are ready to start qualification match number 26. Game begins in three, two, one, go. We see robots coming off the line with 9864 shooting their rings into the high goal. We have Bermuda bots knocking down power shots. where their opponent, 9864, is shooting rings into the goal. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, as we begin tele-op period, we have all the rings being distributed back onto the field by human players. We have the Bermuda bots shooting rings into the high goal with their opponent 
Jug Rock's robotics, picking up rings and shooting them all into the high goal for Red Alliance. We have Jun and Keys similarly shooting, shooting rings into the blue goal over here on the red side of the field. We have 9864 shooting all three of their rings that they've loaded into the high goal earning points for Red Alliance with Bermuda bots shooting their rings into the high goal just as well as well as immediately picking up rings from the field. Looks like we have a bit of a traffic jam on the red side of the field. Nevertheless, 9864 shoots rings into their goal and 80, 8578 is continuously picking up rings from the field. We have 11959 picking up rings, making their way over to the blue side of the field, as well as doing a little bit of defense on the Bermuda bots. 9864 picking up rings with a speed. And with the start of endgame, we have Bermuda bots picking up a wobble goal. Oh, they dropped it. Let's see if we can if he, they can pick it back up. Looks like there's more traffic jam here on the Blue Alliance. With their opponents, 9864 shooting down power shots. Bermuda Bot places a wobble goal over the side of the field. Wild time ends, and that concludes qualification match number 26. Good job to both of our two teams, two alliances. And results will come in shortly. Qualification match 26 with Blue Alliance taking the win with 220 points. All right, and here we have qualification match number 27. Let's introduce our teams. We have here on the Red Alliance, Power Surge and Space Cadets. And here on the Blue Alliance, we have sisters teams 6518 and 4366, Westside Black and Gold. Let's hear it. And now we are ready to begin our game in three, two, one, go. All 
All right, as we have begun the autonomous period, we have both teams on Blue Alliance having placed their wobble goals into the zone with Red Alliance. Power Surge shooting rings into the high goal as well as having placed a wobble goal into the correct zone. Sorry. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, with the beginning of teleop period, we have all of our robots going after the rings all across the field. Looks like 4366 is doing a little defense on the Space Cadets as Space Cadets is shooting their rings. Power Surge here is on the red side of the field, picking up rings as they get ready to load and launch. We have the sister teams there on the blue side of the field, scoring into their high goal, winning points for the Blue Alliance. With some defense play uh, from the Space Cadets as they try to shoot their rings. 6518 pushes back and launches their rings into the high goal for Blue Alliance. Power Search still continues to pick up rings and aims to score in the high goal for Red Alliance with their alliance partner there on the blue side of the field, scoring into the mid goal. This is strategic play from the Red Alliance as they are having two bots on each side, or one bot on each side of the field. 4366 picking up rings as they are running into 14400. 6518 pushing their opponents out of their way as they go to collect, retrieve rings. Power Surge is here on the red side of the field, having a monopoly on all of the rings on the red side. 6518 con continues to pick up rings with the sound of the end game starting. We have 14400 having placed a wobble goal uh, over the wall, scoring points. Lots of robots running into each other. As 4366 is trying to push their opponent power search out of the... And that concludes the round of qualification match 27. Let's see the score from that last match. Oh, a close win by the Blue Alliance, moving both of those teams up in the ranking. Way to go. That's a really, really well-fought match by everyone involved. Good job. Let's meet our teams for match number 28. On the Red Alliance, it looks like we called each other. Look, we match. Isn't that fantastic? Team 18281, caution. And with them, Team 8711, the gas attendants. On the blue ones, blue alliance, another brightly colored team. One, two, eight, three, five, pixelated. I'm never disappointed by that. That's fantastic. And with them, Team 12770. Pick uh need more zip ties. Field is random randomized. Teams are going to be going for that middle goal. I've got a thumbs up. You know what that means. Count down with me. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> going for that middle goal. Rings are getting shot in. Red Alliance made some in the high goal. Blue Alliance made some in the high goal. And the Red Alliance is policing their second wobble goal. Oh, they both made it. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Blue Alliance is going to score theirs also. 
Five seconds left. Looks like they're not gonna make it, but that's okay. They've got plenty of time during Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Here for our teams. Pixelated already expanding their robot to gather those rings. They can only pick up three, but they've got a pretty good collector that sucks them right up. 8711, the gas attendants carrying their wobble around so they'll be ready for endgame whenever it comes, as is pixelated. 12835. Looks like their partner on the Blue Alliance might have shut down, but they're trying to get it reconnected and they're moving again? Maybe? Yes, they're moving again. Hopefully this means they can keep scoring. 18281, going to get more of those rings. Their human player is feeding more to them now as we speak. It's really crucial that they keep moving. They get score more and more rings. The cycle time is the biggest kicker in this. If you're able to pick them up fast and score them fast, that is a world of difference. 8711 lining up for the shot. Oh, and they just barely miss. Looks like they're right there, right there to make them. And Pixelated just made three solid shots in their high goal. Almost time for end game. We've got 15 seconds to end game. Gas attendants making another shot. Looks like they're going to go line up to grab more of those rings. The repetition kind of gets boring sometimes, but that is how you win this game. Doing the same thing consistently. <laughs> That means end game. That means the gas attendants are shooting across the field. Getting ready to score that wobble goal. And they make it out. That's one. Blue Alliance is going for the same thing. These end game points are so important. We've got one from the Blue Alliance. Gas attendants are trying to grab the other with their claw. Two power shots down for the Red Alliance and three for the Blue. Can the Red Alliance make that last one in the last three, two, one? teams that was well played really good match friendly reminder we only have two qualifying matches left as you can see in this back corner there are already teams who have sent their representatives down for final selections if you are not one of those teams that has already sent your um, representative down we need you down here like now um so get your people down here so we don't have to come find you. Thank you very much. Let's see the scores from match number 28. It's a Blue Alliance win. Team Pixelated and Team Need More Zip Ties take it with a score of 234 points. Only two matches left. Let's meet our teams for the second to last qualification match of the day. On the Red Alliance from Granger, Indiana, one of our Gears teams, 12.014, the Firewires. And with them, 5.35, Tobor, our host team here at Crawfordsville High School. And on the Blue Alliance, let's say hi to 11272, Genesis. And their partners, I never get tired of this, 16501, Squirrel. It doesn't really fit very well into casual conversation, but makes for a good, good time. Looks like there's no rings out. That means the teams are going to be look, going to score in that close goal. Let's watch, see if they can make it in autonomous. Blue Alliance is ready. 
and the Red Alliance is ready. Let's get this match started in three, two, one, go. Got one wobble goal in for the Red Alliance, but it looks like their robots kind of ran into each other. Programs weren't quite compatible. That's okay, there's still time to perfect that during finals. We've got one blue wobble goal in, scored by um, Team Genesis. Need more zip ties. Looks like they were going to score. Something happened. They'll be. They'll have a chance to score it during. A Driver, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Looks like blue has the point lead right now, but red has a chance to catch up with those points. Red's already zipping around the field. Firewire is picking up those rings. They're kind of squishing against the wall, so it looks like they're going to need to try a different strategy so they're not stacked on top of each other. There they go. There they've got it. Their feeders are picking those rings up real well. Got a few launches in, and they make it into that high goal. All four robots are moving again, which is also very, very good to see. Lots of shots going in for the Blue Alliance. Good, consistent cycle time. They're picking up those rings and repositioning right away to score. One, two, three, four, five more shots go in for the Blue Alliance. It also makes it, means that we have to have great people paying attention for our scoring. Big thanks to all our volunteers. 50 seconds left, almost time for end game. Looks like some of our teams are already set to score those wobble goals once the timer sets. Tobor over here. Looks like they're trying to line up or something. Here we have Genesis's robot. I love the way that the front of their robot up. They can pick up rings from any side. I know I've mentioned that before. Just watch them. Nice shots. The Firewires made it over with one of their wobble goals and so did Squirrel, getting one of their wobble goals over. 10 seconds left. Let's see if they can make those power shots. One down for red, two down for blue, three down for blue. Let's see if we can make one more red in three, two, one. Before we see the scores from that match, this is your last shot to send. Well, I mean, it's not your last shot. We're not going to do anything about it. Anyway, please send your representatives down here if you haven't already. Now is the time. We want to see you down here. And the scores from match number 29. A really, really good score of 258 points for the Blue Alliance. Let's hear it for our teams. It's a solid score right there. All right, as we just ended qualification match number 29, let's introduce our teams for the last qualification round of the day before we enter Alliance selections. Here on the Red Alliance, we have XLR8. No, Accelerate 14596. And our alliance partner, 18685, the second tech challenge. Here on their opponent, opposing Blue Alliance, we have 8149, red alert, panic in the build room. And their alliance partner, 3537, the mecha hamsters. All right, let's begin. Game starts in three, two, one, go. We see robots coming off the start line with the mecha hamsters shooting their rings into the high goal. We have one, eight, six, eight, five, 
moving forward with our alliance partner 14596 accelerate shooting their rings into the hive drivers pick up your controllers three two one we have entered driver control period. We have human players loading the field with rings from all over, from both alliances. And robots from both alliances are making over their ways to collect these rings. Look like we have cheering from the crowds. I like it. Red Alliance, we have Accelerate shooting rings into the high goal with Mecha Hamsters picking up rings from on the blue side of the field. Second Tech Challenge picking up rings on the red side of the field as their alliance partner accelerate, shoot more rings into the high goal. Their opponent, the Me Mecha Hamsters, are also shooting rings into the high goal and proceeds to pick up more on the blue side. We have Accelerate shooting all of their rings here on the blue side of the field into their mid goal. We have the Mecha Hamsters picking up rings and aiming to line up as they push their opponent, the second tech challenge, out of the way. Robots from both alliances pit, making their way to pick up wobble goals. Accelerate already placing a wobble goal over the wall, scoring points for the Red Alliance with their alliance partner making their way to pick up rings. Blue Alliance got a wobble goal over the wall, and we have five seconds left. Red making power shots. With Blue Alliance making their way over to the wall. And that is the end of the last qualification match of the day. Teams, good job. Now, if you haven't already sent your representative for Alliance selections down, you better do that, like, right now. After we get the results for this match, we will immediately go into Alliance selections. And we have the scores for Red Alliance with a win of 157 points. Congratulations, Red Alliance. Do you want me to give you? Right. We still need representatives from Team 8711, the gas attendants. 11272, Genesis. 12043, Power Surge. 12835, Pixelated. And 
12091 Bermuda bots. Please send down your uh, representatives for alliance se selections immediately. We also ha need representatives from 14596 Accelerate and 16501 Squirrel.
All right, teams, we're almost ready for alliance selections. However, before we start with alliance se selections, our host team, 535 Tobor, would like to say a few special words. Okay. Uh, so all of us, uh, especially our seniors, just want to say this year that for everything he's done uh, through the pandemic and for all the years that he's helped, not only us, but done so much for FIRST itself. I mean, we hardly see him during the competitions and he's our head coach because he's out there helping everybody else. But we just want to give a big thank you to Mr. Wilcox and for everything he's done for us. Can you come over here? <laughs> Here, I'll go. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and next thing is we have an award to give out, actually. I'll hand the mic over to Steve Florence. Yes, I want to give out the award for the Volunteer of the Year for... Uh, for FTC in Indiana, and I, I think you'll, you'll know why we do this, because of the fact we don't always have a lot of visibility of people that can acquire this award, but we do know how much this person means to uh, the state of Indiana and FTC. So even though this person wasn't a first alum, he has embraced it as a passion and a desire to help students and find out what this is all about. And with that, he is a Purdue grad, a Purdue first alum and helped with that. His passion is admirable. I just don't know what we would do without him. He's been a mentor or still is a mentor. He's a volunteer. He volunteers for all programs, FLL, FTC, FRC. He has one of those things that he just doesn't say no when he's asked. With this, I'd like you to put your hands together and our volunteer of the year for 2021 is Mr. Brad Thompson. Now we go on to some important things like alliance selection. <laughs> not important. Of course that's important. But like you said, it is time for alliance selections. You guys have played hard today. How do you guys feel? Good? Fantastic. We love to see it. It's pretty exciting stuff. First, before we start our finalist matches, we have to create four alliances. How this works is the first pick goes to the highest ranking team uh, from the qualification matches today. And then we, we make four alliances of three teams each since we have 24 teams here today. There's only one rule during alliance selection, and that is if a team declines an invitation to become an alliance partner, that team may not be invited by another alliance. The declining team does not, however, lose their right to select if they want to become an alliance captain and are in a position to do so. For example, if the number one ranked team picked number two and number two said no, number two is not allowed, well, I guess technically they are on their own allowance, but they are still allowed to be their own captain and form their own alliance. I wonder if I'm missing anything. In addition, throughout the day, teams have been scouting each other to see how each of the other teams is, how they're competing, how they work with other teams, what strengths they have and what weaknesses they have. This is where we get to see all of that scouting work pay off. And each alliance captain is looking to make the strongest possible alliance to play out the rest of the tournament. Once we have four complete alliances, we'll begin the elimin elimination matches. Um, we'll have a quick meeting with all of our alliance captains here with the head ref. And then we'll give you a couple minutes to strategize with your teams before we start finals. All right, there's a lot on the line here. Let's meet the teams. We're gonna start with the fourth 
uh, seated team from the qualification matches. I think what we're gonna do is when I call your name, come on up here and we'll put you somewhere in this general vicinity so you can pick your teams. Are we putting them back here? Okay, I get to pick. So our fourth seated team is 12091 Bermuda Bots. I've made an executive decision. In our third seated team, 12043. There it is. Over in the corner. Right in front of them, 11329 Ice Robotics. They know what they're doing. I don't know. I don't need to tell them. And let's give it up for our number one ranked team from today's qualification matches, 9864 Jug Rocks Robotics. Let's get down to business, shall we? Jug Rocks Robotics. Who would you like to invite to be on your number one seated alliance? Team 9864 would like to invite Team 11329 Ice Robotics to join our alliance. Ice Robotics, do you accept? There's no way we could decline this offer. Thank you. Congratulations, Ice Robotics. And you know what that means? Now we have to introduce another team. Let's have you guys move up. Power Surge is now our second ranked team and Bermuda Bots is here. That means we need to introduce a new team. Our next team is 12770. Need more zip ties. And now our second ranked team. Who would you like to invite to your alliance? Team 12043. We'd like to invite Team 12835 Pixelated. Pixelated. Twelve eight thirty five. Do you accept? Team one two eight three five accepts. Congratulations to Team Pixelated. Next we have Bermuda Bots. Who would you like to join your alliance? Team twelve oh nine one the Bermuda Bots graciously invites Team twelve twenty seven to Genesis. Genesis, what do you say? Team 11272 Genesis graciously accepts. There's another team for our third seated alliance. And here we have our fourth alliance. Who would you like to invite? Team 12770 Nemo Zip Ties graciously invites team 18281 Caution. Team Caution. With that snazzy bright orange t-shirt. Oh, love it. Caution, what do you say? Team 18281, Caution graciously accepts. And there you have it. There was our first round of selections. Now no one can move, so we know who's sticking where. You ready to pick your next team, First Alliance? All righty, let's hear it. Team 9864 would like to invite Team 14596, Accelerate, to join our alliance. Accelerate! What do you say, sir? Team 14596 would love to accelerate this alliance. I love it. Fantastic. First alliance wins in my book for the puns. 10 of 10. And now, second alliance. Who is your second pick? Team 12043. We'd like to invite Team 16501 Squirrel.
No, no, you said it wrong. It's squirrel like that. What do you say? Team 16501 squirrel graciously accepts. Fantastic. Here we have two complete alliances. And the third alliance. You ready? Fantastic. Bermuda bots, who do you pick? Team 1209 won the Bermuda bots. Graciously invites Team 6518 West Side Black. West Side Black, what do you say? Um, Team 6518 graciously accepts. And there you have your third ranked alliance for finals. And now for our fourth alliance, what is your second pick? Team 12770, need more zip ties, graciously invites team, where is it? 8791 Green Machine. Green Machine from Greenwood, from Greenwood, Indiana. Team 8791, what's your answer? Yes, we graciously accept. Yes, absolutely. Here I give you your four alliances for the finals at the Indy State Championship. Yeah. At this point now, if you've had your picture taken, I need the captain of each alliance for a driver's meeting here with the head ref right now. The rest of you are welcome to go back to the pits. If you are in finals, get your robot ready. If you're not in finals, you can feel free to start cleaning up. Finals will start at 3.30. I will see you there. All right, quick announcements. As you guys are making your way to the pits, right? remember, right outside of the pits entrance, there is a QR code to sign up to apply for the student board of directors make sure you go do that if you are interested and are a current freshman sophomore or junior make sure that you also take the student impact survey which takes no longer than five to ten minutes uh do it sometime today for the the evaluation for our sponsors thank you very much
Welcome back, everybody. Are you ready for some finals rounds? There we go. That's the excitement I want to hear. Our first match is going to be the first alliance versus the fourth alliance, followed by the second and the third. We'll be playing each round, best two out of three elimination. If the, the uh, one team wins one and another team wins the second one, uh, we'll go to a third round for each of these elimination matches. So eloquently, it is... All right, let's meet our teams. For each match, two of the three teams from each alliance will be playing. So here, representing our first seeded alliance for this match, we have our team captain, one one or our team captain, ninety eight sixty four, Jug Rocks Robotics. That's right, give it up. As well as their first pick, our second seeded team from today's qualifying match, one one three two nine, Ice Robotics. Representing the fourth seed alliance in this match, we have 12770, our alliance captain, need more zip ties. And their partners, 18281, caution. Almost time to start the match. Looks like we'll be shooting for that far goal on Autonomous. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, ready? Everyone's ready. Let's count it down for this finals match number one, semifinals match number one. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. Two teams, both with those wobble goals in hand, going for that far goal, shooting into the high goal. Three in for the Blue Alliance, and then three more. Way to go, Blue Alliance teams. Red Alliance is also firing in. Ice Robot is going for one more shot. And they made both of those in. Five seconds left in Autonomous. We've got two Wobble Goals and both of them. Driver, pick this up your control. Great start to a three, match. two, one. Jug Rocks Robotics moving immediately, going to pick up those rings, followed closely by Ice Robotics. Three shots at the goal for the Blue Alliance. One made it in. Let's see if we can get some consistency here. Jug Rocks going for it. Three clean shots in. Ice Robotics has a really quick launcher. They're able to pick those rings up and shoot them out. Three more in the high for the Blue Alliance as well. And three more for the Blue Alliance as Ice Robotics launches two. Really fast paced game here in the finals. Just over a minute left and already these teams are making crazy high scores. Watching these teams work together, avoiding each other so they're not in each other's way, picking up those rings, sharing with each other. We've got 20 seconds until end game. Let's see how many more they can launch into those goals. Watch those scores on the board closely. You'll see, looks like we're getting ready to beat today's high score. 
And here is Endgame. Like Jug Rocks going to launch again. We've got two blue power shots down already. Jug Rocks shooting at those red power shots. We've got 15 seconds left. One red wobble goal out and knocked over. Looks like Ice Robotics is going for that second wobble goal. All three blue are down for the power shots. One more red. Can they make it? Big match. Let's give it up for our red and our blue alliances and semifinals match number one. All right, as we wait for the results of the first semifinal match, let's come to the other side of the, go to, come, let's come to the other field and introduce our two teams. Now here on this alliance that is ranked second, we have one, two, oh, four, three, Power Surge. And their alliance partner, 12835, pixelated. Here on the other side of the field, we have Blue Alliance. Team captain, 12091, Bermuda Bots. And their alliance partner, 6518, West Side Black. Who's ready to see the scores from that first semifinals match? Are you ready to see them? Let's see them. That is a high score from today's matches by the Red Alliance. 368 points. All right, and we're ready to start our second match of semifinals. Let's begin game in three, two, one, go. As we enter our autonomous period, we have most of our robots coming in. Pixelated shooting all of their rings into the high goal with Blue Alliance placing their wobble goal into the corresponding zone, as well as shooting down some power shots. We have 10 seconds left of the autonomous period. We see we have robots lined up on the white line of the field. As Red Alliance shoots some last minute, sh last Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Of teleop period. We see robots all across the field scrambling to get goals. Bermuda Triangle pushing back Pixelated to shoot. Sixty-five eighteen shooting rings into the high goal, earning points for Blue Alliance, as well as immediately picking up rings. Their uh, opponent's power surge is picking up goal, picking up the rings. While sixty-five eighteen continues to shoot in the power goal. Looks like we have a little bit of a traffic jam with Bermuda bots over there as they try to play some defense on Pixelated. 6518 shooting their rings into the high goal. 
with a lot of defense going on in the middle of the field. Pixelated shooting all three of their rings into the high goal with continuous defense played by Bermuda. Now they're shooting their rings into the goals with their opponent, with their alliance partner, 6518, continuously working on the blue side of the field. Power Surge picking up rings and making us way to line up against to shoot with Bermuda playing some heavy defense on Red Alliance. 6518 continues to shoot rings and <laughs> that is the bell of end, end period. Let's see. We have 6518 already ready and places the wobble goal over the wall with their alliance partner, Bermuda, making their way to pick up a wobble goal as well. Pixelated already places a wobble goal over the wall. And both teams shooting down power shots as we near the end of the round. A lot of defense still going on. And that concludes the second round of semifinals. Good job to both alliances. Well done. All right, and we have results. Winner, Red Alliance with a score of 267 to 202. A really close game. Congratulations, Red Alliance. Let's move back over to field number one to watch the second round of this semifinals between Seed one and seed four alliances. This time around, the other partner for each of the alliances is required to play, so you'll see different teams up here. Let's meet our teams. Once again, our first seeded team from today's qualifications match. Number 98864, Jug Rocks Robotics. And their partners, 14596. Accelerate! Facing them on the Blue Alliance, we have 12770, need more zip ties. And their partners, 8791, Green Machine. If the Blue Alliance wins this one, we'll push it to another round for this semifinals. If the Red Alliance takes it, we'll be done, and the Red Alliance will move on to the finals rounds. As we randomize, I want to hear you tell me, who do you think is going to win, Blue Alliance? Let me hear it for the Blue Alliance. And let's hear it for the Red. All right, let's cheer on all our teams. We're ready to go. Let's get this match started in three, two, one, go. One, four, five, nine, six. Moving over, spinning to that corner so they can score the wobble goal in that front goal. Gotten a couple shots in from the Blue Alliance and the Red Alliance. 
launching in, just barely missing some of those shots into the high goal in this autonomous period. Driver, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. This definitely is a different setup from the last autonomous. And that's okay, that makes it interesting. Let's see what we've got. Blue Alliance is already launching into that high goal. Human player is feeding those back into them. It looks like the Blue Alliance's strategy is to catch the rings before they roll across the field so they can hop back into position in the middle and launch right at that middle. Red shooting three in right from that. And the human player is trying to get those rings right back in as soon as possible. Blue Alliance just made three more shots in as well into that high goal, followed closely by two from the Red Alliance. And two more from the Blue. Teams are really, really kicking them out this time. Fast collection, fast scoring. That's what it's all about, repetition. And there's the Red Alliance getting a few more in the top. We're just under a minute Teams have a couple seconds left to make sure they're scoring in those high go goals to skip points before they move on to focus on end game scoring. 10 seconds until end game. Let's see what these teams are ready for. More shots from red, more shots from blue. Let's watch them. Two more in for blue, two more, three more in for red. And here is one alliance moving to. The wobble goal for the blue alliance, one scored for the blue. Let's see if the red can grab it. One, four, five, nine, six, trying to grab it with that grabber. And they're on it, let's see if they can make it. One over for red, two over for blue. 10 seconds left. Blue alliance is still scoring in the high zone. We've got two shots on the high shot for the red alliance. Let's see who won that in just a second. Let's see the scores from that last match. And the Blue Alliance takes it with a score of 271 points. That was a close one. What that means is we will have to play one more match between the first and the fourth seeds to see who will move on to the finals rounds. All right, so as our teams are coming onto the field and setting up to prepare for their second round between the second seed and third seed teams, let's introduce them. On the, on the second seed, we have Team Captain 12043, Power Surge. And we have their alliance partner, 16501, Squirrel. All right, now on the other side of the field, we have Blue Alliance. We have their first and second picks. We have second pick, 11272 Genesis. And on their alliance partner, 6518 Westside Black.
Let's hear it for the teams playing in a moment. Ready to begin our match. Let's begin game in three, two, one, go. Start of autonomous. We have robots from both from Blue Alliance shooting into their high goal. 6518 places the wobble goal down in zone C. Here on the Red Alliance, we have ring shot into the high goal by power search. Driver, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Begin teleop period. We see robots going to the human player station across and picking up rings. 6518 picking up rings over here on the rest of the field as they do some pushing around with Squirrel. Power Surge shooting rings on the blue side of the field into their goal. With Genesis shooting, picking up rings and shooting into their high goal. 6518 picking up rings and lining up and sh makes rings into the mid goal with their alliance partner Genesis picking up rings Looks like Power Surge is also preparing its robot for launching. Genesis and doing some defense. Genesis. Squirrel is picking up and loading its robots with rings as they prepare to launch. 6518 is pushing them. Looks like Power Surge is giving Genesis a little bit of trouble with shooting. 65-18 here on the red side of the field, shooting into the mid goal, scoring points for the Blue Alliance. As we <laughs> shooting power shots as we have begun end game. Genesis shooting power shots as well for the Blue Alliance. With 65-18 having already placed a wobble goal, Power Surge over here on the red side have already also placed a wobble goal over, this, over the wall, earning points. 
continuous defense from power surge on Genesis. Three seconds left. And that is the end of semifinal two and of match two. And we have results. Blue Alliance taking a win of a score of 212. This means that there will be another round being played against the second seed and the third seed. You know what time it is. Time for our third match of semifinals round one. Let's hear it for our Blue Alliance and our Red Alliance. Yeah. Let's introduce these alliances one more time, just so you know who you're watching. On the Red Alliance, we have our team captains, 9864, Jogrox Robotics. And their first pick, 11329, Ice Robotics. Facing them on the Blue Alliance, giving them a challenge. Let's give it up for one, two, seven, seven, zero. Need more zip ties. And their partners, 8791, Green Machine. I'm seeing a thumbs up from the Red Alliance. I'm seeing a thumbs up from the Blue Alliance. We're not actually going yet. I was just excited. I'm seeing thumbs up. I think it's time to go. You know what that means. Field stays the same. Now we get the real thumbs up. Both alliances ready? Let's count it down. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. This is the pairing that scored that 380 point score earlier. Let's see if they can maybe beat it this time around. So far, every shot that has been launched during Autonomous has made it into that goal and we have two wobble goals in. Blue Alliance is moving forward. Looks like they're going to try to score also. Didn't quite make it there. Let's see if Ice Robotics makes it in that corner. Giving them a little... Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Pick up our teams. I want to hear you guys cheering for your teams. One, two, seven, seven, zero, already with the load, shooting into that high goal. Jug Rocks Robotics getting ready, lining up to do the exact same thing. One, two, three, straight into that high goal for the Red Alliance. Looks like Ice Robotics just is lugging that wobble goal around with them so that the second end game begins, they can dump it over the edge. Jug Rocks Robotics, good on that cycle time. Picking up those rings and shooting them immediately. Quick to the kick, quick to the collection, quick to the scoring. Here goes Blue Alliance with another launch. Oh, and they make all three. 
Both alliances are so consistent right now. We're just at a minute. That leaves them 30 seconds to focus on scoring these rings. We've got some defense being played by Ice Robotics here in the front. Here it looks like those rings are starting to pile up in the front, which means it can be hard to pick them up individually. Sometimes this will make or break a team if they can pick up those rings quick, even if they're in a pile. 10 seconds to end game. Let's see what these teams have got. And end game starts. <laughs> Red Alliance and Blue Alliance zipping to that line. Dumping those wobble goals over. There's two more. We have a red high shot and a blue. Getting those power shots. Each of those is a ton of points for these teams, so it's crucial that they make these. Five seconds left for these teams to make it. And the last one. Well done to all of our teams. Let's hear for our Red Alliance and our Blue Alliance. Let's see those scores. 407 points for the Red Alliance. That is a high score for today. That is the only time we have broken 400 points. That means that the Red Alliance will be moving on to our finals rounds. All right, all right. Let's start the third round of our semifinal match two. Match three. That's what I meant. Semifinals two. Competition is between the second seed and the third seed. Let's introduce our team so we know who is competing this time. Here on the Red Alliance, we have Alliance Captain 12043. Power Surge. Next up on the field, we have one, two, eight, three, five, pixelated. Let's hear it for Red Alliance. Here on the blue side of the field, we have Alliance Captain 12091, Bermuda Bots. And their alliance partner, 11272 Genesis. Let's hear it for Blue Alliance. All right, all right. Once we see the teams are finally set up and we get the thumbs up, we will begin.
Let's get this game started. In three, two, one, go! With the start of autonomous period, we already have Genesis shooting all three of their rings into the high goal. Red Alliance have also shot in their rings into the goal. With robots on the line, we are ready. Oh, it looks like Power Surge is also shooting all of their rings into the high goal. All four robots line up. The Driver, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. All right, as we can see on the red side of the field, we have Pixelated picking up rings as we see some defense going on on the blue side of the field. Genesis is speedily picking up rings with their opponent, Pixelated, shooting all of the rings that they've loaded into the high goal. There on the blue side of the field, we have Power Surge picking up rings and launching them into the mid-goal scoring points for the Red Alliance. Bermudabot is shooting their rings into the high goal on the blue side of the field with Power Surge picking up rings. And their opponent, Genesis, shooting their rings into the mid-goal of the red side of the field. Pixelated shoots rings into the high goal as well as Bermudabot. We have pixelated shooting rings into the high goal with Genesis picking up rings from the field. A lot of trafficking and blocking defense going on on the blue side of the field. Bermuda is also shooting into their high goal. Pixelated picking up rings from the center of the field to the mid goal and picking up rings with the with the start of end game we have bermuda bot placing a wobble goal over the side of the wall we also have pixelated putting their wobble goal over the side bermuda and pixelated picks up another one in both places simultaneously at the we have bots from both alliances shooting down power shots Looks like blue alliance. And that is the end of end game. Let's give it up for these teams. All right, and scores are out. Red Alliance taking the win of 267 points. Congratulations, Red Alliance, and good job to both alliances.
All right, and we'll begin a field timeout for five minutes.
All right, you guys know what time it is. It is time for our first finals match of the day. Let's hear it for our teams. Once again, this is a best two out of three competition. So this is our first round. Let's meet our teams for finals. Amen. On the Red Alliance, our first seed of the day, 9864, Drug Rocks Robotics. Partnered with our second seed of the day, 11329, Ice Robotics. Opposing them on the Blue Alliance, we have Team 12043, Power Surge. And their partners, 12835, Pixelated. Pick a team to cheer for, because I want to hear every single one of you making noise during this match. We good to go? I'm seeing a thumbs up. You know what that means. Count down with me. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Three in for blue. And here goes Ice Robotics with their shots. Three in, and they go to pick up that pile as well. This is a pretty consistent autonomous. We've been seeing it work all day. Three more in for the Blue Alliance as well. Both teams looking strong out of the gate here during this autonomous period. We've got two wobble goals scored for the Red Alliance and one. Driver, strong pick up your control. Final match. Three, two, one. I like to hear some noise for our teams. Pixelated in the front already, picking up those rings. Using that wheel attachment that they have that folds down in the front to give them more space to pick up. Really fast shooting from Drug Rocks Robotics. Good, consistent firing into that high goal. Ice Robotics, characteristic of this team. They carry that wobble goal around with them. It doesn't get in their way while they're scoring. They're still able to pick up. They're still able to launch. More quick shooting from Ice Robotics as well. Looks like there's some defense. It's kind of hard for everyone to line up and shoot at the same time. So it's really important that you have room and you're not getting bumped while you're shooting. More shots from Power Surge. This is tight. Both teams are performing so well. Quick pickup, quick scoring. They're really giving our scorers some hard work, having to pay close attention. Three more in from Ice Robotics, and we're down to 45 seconds. Just 15 seconds till end game when the strategy completely changes. Power Surge, launching them out. And end game starts. Robotics yeah. already launching a wobble goal out and they made it one out already just in seconds blue alliance on their way over to power surge scoring that wobble goal it looks like both alliances have the same strategy here have one team keep firing and scoring points while the other scores both of those wobble goals fantastic this is a close match everyone five seconds left to get those power shots can the blue alliance make that last one <laughs> Hear some noise for our teams.
Let's see those final scores from finals match number one. It's a Blue Alliance win with 331 points. That's team 12835, 16501, and 12043. We'll see you back in a couple minutes for finals match number two.
All right, that was the end of our five minute field timeout. Now, this is the second round and possibly the last finals match we have. However, hold your horses, there might be a third. Now let's introduce our teams. Here on the Red Alliance, we have 11-3-29 Ice Robotics. And their alliance partner, 14-5-9-6, Accelerate. Let's hear it for Red Alliance. Here on Blue Alliance, we have 1, 2, 8, 3, 5, Pixelated. And their alliance partner, 16, 5, 0, 1, Squirrel. Let's hear it for both of the teams. And we're ready for finals match two. Let's begin game in three, two, one, go! With the start of the autonomous period, we already have here Pixelated placing in a wobble goal and shooting all three of their rings into the high goal. Red Alliance, they got a wobble goal already placed in zone A. Here, Squirrel is making rings, shooting some into the high goal with their opponent. 14, 5, 96, shooting their rings into the high goal. Drivers, pick up your controllers. 3, 2, 1. As we enter the tally out period, human players are loading the field with rings, and all the robots are scrambling to pick up those rings to gain the points. We have Accelerate picking up rings while pushing Pixelated. Pixelated, however, still scores. Ice Robotics here scoring on the red side of the field into their high goal. A lot of traffic going on in the goal area of the field. Looks like some robots are picking up rings there on the blue side of the field. Accelerate shoots rings into the high goal with their with pixelated shooting shooting their rings into the high goal as well. Ice robotics picking up rings. Squirrel shoots their rings. Pixelated shoots their rings into the high goal. With 45 seconds left of the match, we have Pixelated still shooting all of their rings into the high goal. On the other side, we have their opponent, Ice, shooting their rings into the high goal. This is some tough competition, guys. Scores are really close. They're we have Squirrel making its way to the wall. Almost got that wobble goal over. Ice Robotics got their wobble goal over and is now aiming to pick up another one. Pixelated shooting all of their rings. Blue Lines got all of their power shots down with Red Alliance having two of them down. Five seconds left. Blue Lines got a wobble goal. Finals match two, guys. Let's hear it for both of our teams.
And we have results! Red Alliance taking the win of 297. Guys, you know what this means. We are going to have a match three between our finalists. And now we will have another five minute field timeout. All right, just a small announcement. Alliance One has called their timeout, which means we are having more time on the clock.
All right, and that is the end of our time out. You know what, Rusty? She's supposed to do this match, but I'll, I'll, I guess I'll introduce the teams and maybe show them. All right, as we have the team setting up here on the field, let's hear it for the final match today. You did good. All right, here on Red Alliance, we have 14, 5, 9, 6, Accelerate! And we have their alliance captain, 9864. Let's hear it. Jug Rocks Robotics. And on the blue alliance, let's welcome back. One, two, eight, three, five. Pixelated. And here for the last round, I was just informed that this is Power Surge's last round as a team as they're retiring after this year. So let's give it up for 12, oh, four, three. Woo! Teams are ready. Ref is ready. Is our timer ready? Let's get a countdown for this last round of the Indy State Championships. Three, two, one, go! And the teams are off already firing. Jug Rocks three in, Pixelated three in, and those Wobble Goals in the front corner. These teams are fast. They are fine. Already Jug Rocks is picking up more of those rings to score them in the high goal. Gives me one more up in that high goal. Let's see how the Blue Alliance is doing. Trying to hit those power shots. Just almost missed. Driver, right, pick up your control. Up. Three, two, one. Pick your team. Let's cheer them on. This is the last round of the day. One, four, five, 96, trying to pick up that wobble goal. Get it out of their way. Get it on the robot so it's ready for end game later. Jug Rocks Robotics moving so quickly. They're so efficient with their time. They move up, pick up those rings immediately, and then move right back to the middle and score them again. Same with Pixelated. They're picking up and launching almost faster than I can see them. Here we go, one, four, five, 96. Launching into that high goal for the Blue Alliance. Same with uh, 12043, Power Surge, launching in. There goes three more for the Red Alliance on Jug Rocks Robotics. Those rings are rolling everywhere as the human players are putting them back in. Looks like there's some pushing and shoving going. Trying to jockey for the position as they go ahead and launch in. One, four, five, nine, six, coming to the back, trying to get those rings that no one else is getting so they don't have to fight for them. That's a pretty good strategy. Only 15 seconds to end game. We are in the last 45 seconds of this competition. Pixelated still launching them in one after another. Jug Rocks is lining up for another shot as well. End game starts now. The last 30 seconds. Looks like they're still launching. We have one wobble goal on the way out of the ratch. Oh, and it's almost on for the Red Alliance. Jug Rocks going to grab that second wobble goal. And here goes one for the Blue Alliance. There's Pixelated getting one out of the field. We got two power shots down for the Red Alliance. One down for the Blue with five seconds left. Two more for the Blue. Can they make the left? Let's give it up for our teams.
And the final scores are ready. Who was it? The Blue Alliance with a score of 303 points. Congratulations to 12043 Power Surge, 12835, and 16501. Indiana State Champions 2021. At this point, go ahead and clear your robots off. Everybody get ready. We're going to move straight into the award ceremony once we have everything cleared up up here.
Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Oh, they're clapping already. I'm so excited. <laughs> Welcome to the awards ceremony for this, the Indiana State Championship Tournament presented by Army ROTC. As many of you know, FIRST is a nonprofit and global movement transforming lives and inspiring future innovators and problem solvers. FIRST engages young people, kindergarten through 12th grade, through all of their programs. And of course, our STEM programs are a fantastic opportunity to have the hardest fun you will ever have, which we all saw today. Speaking of the hardest fun you'll ever have, what an outstanding day we've had. Before we have our awards, let's thank the awesome people who made this event happen. Today could not have been possible without our volunteers. Please give a huge round of applause for our volunteers. And also, let's hear a round of applause for our judges, our referees, and our FTAs for keeping us together all day. We've got some exciting awards to give out, so I'm going to go through a few logistics so that we can get through this smoothly. Typically, there is a high five line. As you can see, there is a line minus the high fives. So... When your name is called for an award, what I'd like you to do is come on down the stairs carefully. Don't trip and fall, please. Come up to the right in front of this, this, uh, the, the um, tape here, question mark. Run past us as we're talking up the line. Someone will hand you a trophy. Don't high five them. We would love to high five you, but don't touch us. Then you're going to go to the uh, photo booth over there, the blue wall with the lady with the camera, and she's going to take your picture with your team and a sign. Someone's going to hand you a sign that says the award that you won on it so we can all remember. And then you're welcome to go back to your seats um, as quietly as possible, again, without tripping and falling. There is a wire in the middle here, too. Just don't fall. Yeah? Cool. So that is all. If there are no questions, let's start. All right, all right. Now let's give out the first award, which is the Judge's Choice Award. The Judge's Choice Award is given at the discretion of the judges to a team they have encountered whose unique efforts, performance, or dynamic merit recognition, yet the team does not fit into any of these existing award categories. This year has been tough for most teams. However, this team did not panic. Gracious professionalism, teamwork, and the engineering process got these kernels popping. Congratulations to Team 11959, Colonel Panic. Next is the Rookie Sensation Award. This is actually combined with the Highest Seed Award. Here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. This team was formed by merging two FLL teams into one. They went into the season with little knowledge of how different FTC is from FLL, the tools they would need or how hard they would have to work. But they persevered. Proceed with caution around this rookie team. Congratulations to our Rookie Sensation winner, 18281 Caution from Granger, Illinois, Indiana. They were also the highest seeded rookie team here today, so they technically won two awards. All right, and our third award for tonight is the Compass Award. The Compass Award recognizes an adult coach 
or mentor who has given outstanding guidance and support to a team throughout the year and demonstrates to the team what it means to be gracious professional. The winner of the Compass Award will be chosen from candidates nominated by First Tech Challenge student team members via a 40 to 60 second video submission. The video must highlight how their mentor has helped them become an inspirational team. We want to hear what sets the mentor apart. Here's what the judges had to say about the winner of this award. This winner has a passion for STEM education and is working to help make it available to all students in the community. She has imparted a love of discovery and learning with her team. Congratulations to Gayatri Adi from Team 8578 Juden Key Robotics. Congratulations, Gayatri. Next is the Promote Award. Oh, we're actually going to show the video that you didn't keep submitted. Meet our mentor Gayatri. She always listens. She's a great engineer, a wonderful friend. She always supports us. She's confident in herself and is considerate to everyone. Gayatri is an outstanding mentor. She loves seeing her eyes light up and realizing the connection during her learning. She's creative at explaining STEM to us. Mentoring is a great part of her life's work. Gayatri has worked with many organizations to promote STEM education to increase participation for women and underserved youth. In her own words, I strongly believe that educating our communities is the best investment in our future. So if there's one thing I could change in the world, I would find a way to make good education available to all children. Now it's time for the Promote Award. The Promote Award is given to the team that is most successful in creating a compelling video message for the public designed to change our culture and celebrate science, technology, engineering, and math. Teams must submit a one minute long public service announcement video based on the PSA subject for this season. Teams may win the Promote Award only once at a championship level event and only once at a qualifying level event. The subject for the 2020-2021 season is why does First Tech Challenge work? Here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this year's award. This team has recognized the many skills that are learned and improved by participating in FTC. Skills that are critical in the workplace, like teamwork, problem solving, and creativity. Congratulations to team 11959, Colonel Panic. And let's watch their video. Why does First Tech Challenge work? We're Colonel Panic, Team 11959. FPC works because it teaches us to be multifaceted. For us, that means having many abilities, such as teamwork, problem solving, creativity, and gracious professionalism, as well as collaboration, volunteering, outreach, and mentoring. At First Tech Challenge works as a chance for kids to have hands-on STEM experience from a young age. FTC works as an opportunity to unite robotics participants through a common goal and similar passion. Here we are with our sister team under the same umbrella of Glum's Robotics. First Tech Challenge works as a lesson in improving work ethic, preparing students for their workforce. FTC works as a way to express our imagination. What an amazing video. All right, now let's move on to our next award, which is the Design Award.
This judged award recognizes the design elements of the robot that are both functional and aesthetic. The design award is presented to teams that incorporate industrial design elements into their solution. These design elements could simplify the robot's appearance by giving it a clean look and be decorative in nature or otherwise express creativity of the team. The robot should be durable, efficiently designed, and effectively address the game's challenge. This, this awards, this team has won second place for the design award. Congratulations to 11329 Ice Robotics. Now, here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. This team really brought the claw to their work. We, recent, we recently found them scouting around the derby, and they're always laser focused on their cuts. Congratulations to Team 14400, the Space Cadets. Next is the Motivate Award. The winner of the Motivate Award embraces the culture of FIRST and clearly shows what it means to be a team. This judged award celebrates the team that represents the essence of the FIRST Tech Challenge competition through gracious professionalism and general enthusiasm for the overall philosophy of FIRST and what it means to be a FIRST Tech Challenge team. This is a team who makes a collaborative effort to make FIRST known throughout their school and community and sparks others to embrace the culture of FIRST as well. Here is what the judges had to say about the winner of the Motivate Award. This team set challenging goals for the season. Their summer programs are engaging to many kids. They harness their power to modify their intake an amazing 23 times. And this award goes to 12043. Power Surge. All right, moving on to the next award is the Control Award sponsored by ARM. The Control Award celebrates a team that uses sensor and software to increase the robot's functionality in the field. This award is given to the team that demonstrates innovative thinking to solve game challenges, such as autonomous operation, improving mechanical systems with an intelligent control, or using sensors to achieve better results. The control component should work consistently in the field. Here's what the judges had to say about the winner of this award. This team shoots rings like there is no tomorrow. They really know how to use their noodle. With a speed control system that really rocks, the control award goes to 9864 Jug Rocks Robotics. Next is the Collins Aerospace Innovate Award. The Collins Aerospace Innovate Award celebrates a team that thinks outside the box and has the ingenuity, creativity, and inventiveness to make their designs come to life. 
This judged award is given to the team that has the most innovative and creative robot design solution to any specific components in the first tech challenge game. Elements of this award include elegant design, robustness, and out-of-the-box thinking related to design. This award may address the design of the whole robot or a sub-assembly attached to the robot. The creative component must work consistently, but a robot does not have to work all the time during matches to be considered for this award. Let's see what the judges had to say about the winner of this award. This team's innovation caught the judges' eyes. Their combined design led to a unique collector. Their apprentices will take, their apprentices will take them far. And the award goes to Team 11272, Genesis. All right, next award is the Connect Award. This judged award is given to the team that most connects with their local science, technology, engineering, and math community. A true first team is more than just a sum of its parts and recognizes that engaging in their local STEM community plays an essential part of their success. The recipient of this award is recognized for helping the community understand first the first tech challenge and the team itself. The team that wins the Connect Award actively seeks and recruits engineers and explores the opportunity available in the world of engineering, science, and technology. This team has a clear team plan and has identified steps to achieve their goals. Here's what the judges had to say about the winners for this award. This team hails from the North Sector. R2-D2 was a huge fan of this team's robot. The Force was able to connect with them through the Galactic Senate this past year. Congratulations to Team 12014, the Firewires. And now for the, uh, the Think Award. We just did the Connect Award. Now for the Think Award. This award is given to the team that best reflects the journey the team took as they experienced the engineering design process during the build season. The engineering content within the portfolio is the key reference for judges to help identify the most deserving team for this award. The team's engineering content must focus on the design and the build stage of the team's robot. Here's what the judges had to say about the winner of this year's Think Award. This is not their first competition. They are on a 12-step journey of success. Their favorite car is a Kia Soul. Congratulations to Team 3537, the Mecha Hamsters. All right, and next up, we are going to announce the Dean's List finalists. First, Dean's List finalists are outstanding student leaders whose passion for and effectiveness at attending the ideals of FIRST are exemplary. These students were nominated by their teams for their direct contributions and impact on others, exemplifying leadership and commitment on their FTC team, in their school, and in their community. First Dean's List finalists recognized here today will represent the Midwest in running for the 10 Dean's List winner spots. Congratulations to Joshua Dominic 
act of Team 12835 Pixelated. Congratulations to Evan Nayi of Team 16501 Squirrel. And finally, congratulations to Kotaro Tsuji of Team 12091. Congrats to our Dean's List finalists. Now let's move on to the Finalist Alliance Award. You already saw this, but we're gonna go ahead and recognize all of our Finalists Alliance who um, made it to the finals this state championship. Um, as we call your name, what you're gonna do is come down the exact same thing as the awards, and then we'll get the captain's picture and then the whole alliance's picture. So the captain of our finalist alliance was 9864, Jug Rocks Robotics from Shoals, Indiana. With their first pick team, 11329, Ice Robotics. And last but certainly not least, the second pick for the finalist alliance, Team 14596, Accelerate from Granger, Indiana. Congratulations to our finalist alliance for the Indiana State Championship this year. All right, let's welcome today's winning alliance. Welcome our captain, 12043. Congratulations. All right, following up is their first pick, 12835 Pixelated. And their second pick, 16501 Squirrel. Congratulations to all three teams of the Winning Alliance. So as you all know, uh, today's presenting sponsor for today's event is Army ROTC. And today is actually, um, the Armed Services Day too. So it is my immense honor and pleasure to introduce to you again the representative from our R Army ROTC uh, presenting sponsor, Paul Heslin. Thank you. 
Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, everybody. That's a good catch. I forgot it was on for services day. I totally forgot about that. The uh, calendar sneaks up on you. I want to thank everybody for uh, accommodating us. We had a tremendous time walking around, talking to all the teams, getting to know you guys. Um, we learned after the morning session, we talked to the teams in the morning session a little bit longer than we probably should have. So apologize for guys doing, looking forward to uh, bigger and better things in the future. To get on to the award, so the Army ROTC Leadership Award celebrates the contributions a team provides to their broader community. From local engagement outside of FIRST to the creation of resources shared with their peers, this award focuses on the leadership qualities a team brings to the FTC program in Indiana. And so the team that we selected this year was Team Bahamas. Or uh, what Bermuda. Bermuda. <laughs> like, sorry. I like in the Bahamas, sorry. Congratulations. Bahamas. <laughs> Bermuda, Bahamas. Sorry. It's, uh, never mind. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul Heslin, and our uh, sponsor for this event, the uh, U.S. Army ROTC program. Let's give it up for our sponsor, everyone. And if you get a chance before you leave, come on down, meet Paul, thank him for his service. We really appreciate him being here. All right, next up, we're gonna announce the final award, the Inspire Award. This judged award is given to the team that best embodies the challenge of the first tech challenge program. The team that receives this award is a strong ambassador for first programs and a role model for first teams. This team is a top contender for many other judged award and is a gracious competitor. The Inspire Award winner is an inspiration to other teams, acting with gracious professionalism on both on and off the playing field. This team shares their experience, enthusiasm, and knowledge with other teams, sponsors, the community, and the judges. Working as a unit, this team have, will have showed success in performing the task of designing and building a robot. Now I'm going to announce the third and second place winners. Please stand so we can recognize you. I lied, actually. You're going to come down. You're going to come I down. I told her the wrong information. Sorry about that. All right. Third place, we have 535 Tobor. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. <laughs> All right, and our second place winner is 14596 Accelerate. All right, now the winner. Let's hear what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. This team impressed the judges with a clear vision. They hit all the gears. This team gave FTC World a new crash course. And the award goes to 12835 Pixelated. Let's give everyone one more round of applause. You all 
performed amazingly today. It was an honor to be here. Get to see everyone in person. <laughs> Thank you all for being such a great audience, for helping support the next generation of leaders and innovators, and for bringing your gracious professionalism to the competition. Remember, your part participation within FIRST doesn't have to end here. Check out our website for opportunities to volunteer, to mentor, for scholarship programs, and make sure you learn more about the internships and alumni opportunities for you seniors. Finally, a big thank you to everyone, all our volunteers, our parents, our mentors for being here, making sure we can be safe today. Look forward to seeing you guys next year.